<clears throat> is it is it working is it working well, the Discord here? stream has. You got to share your screen through Discord. Though. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I do time. also have to do that. That's a, yeah. Yeah, I can't see what you're doing, man. I'm just. It has come live on YouTube now, though. Okay. God damn it! Where's the God damn Discord? Fucking right, but. Uh. Oh, turn on OBS virtual. Oh crap. Uh. It's not camera. It's share your screen. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That works well it. enough. Okay, I think we have something here. Maybe. Yeah. What are the what are, what, what are the YouTube comments saying? Is they the see game, the main menu. <clears throat> is the game music too loud? Can they hear any sound? I don't is, hear any game music. Well, I think. Uh, come on. Where's the damn thing? Okay. They say we all can right. hear all three of us good volume. Yeah, it's okay. fine. You can yeah. tell I I do this often. Uh, all the time. Yeah, but not like I have a, a podcast or something, my God. <laughs> well, they, they say there's no music or no sound from the game, which, eh, fine. That's not. probably fine. I, I don't, I'm not too worried about that. Um, the game radio, unless you turn the ads off, the game radio will just constantly interrupt you with people talking. Yeah. We probably don't want that. Well, I have... I have I can theoretically bring the game audio up where it's quiet, but it's not dominating the stream, I think. Uh, otherwise, I think we just start this thing. Um, I think so. We got cool. some buildings yeah. to look at. We got some buildings to look at. Um, look. Hello, and welcome to City Skylines 2 with a real architecture critic, Cade Wagner, who's here. Hello. Hello, Kate. I'm Kate Wagner. I am the architecture critic at The Nation, and also I teach at the <coughs> University of Chicago in the art history department. Also, I make McMansion Hell the blog, which some of you may know. <laughs> yes. And we also have Jay uh, Besquickelhausen here as well. Hello. I'm a professional do not eat slash well, there's your problem hanger on. Yes. That's so <laughs> <laughs> Uh... So, um, Kate has never played a city builder before, I believe. No, not since SimCity 2000. Ah, uh, well, that's it, when... It's come a long way since It has Sim come a long City way, 2000. yeah. because <laughs> that game got really old really quick. So, I think... I, I was think... a terrible city planner yeah. as an eight-year-old. Who would have thought? <laughs> so, most of us were not very good. I mean... What was SimCity 2004 except to make maps for Streets of SimCity and SimCopter anyway? See, it was on my school computers in elementary school, and everybody just went and saved over all the scenarios. So you just loaded up the scenario city and watched as however many giant robots or fires or whatever just <laughs> fucked up the whole thing. <laughs> that was it. I remember the alien abduction. I think that was one of them. Uh... Tornado oh, yeah. was a great one. Big fan had, of Tornado. They straight up pulled the uh, the alien abduction uh, disaster from the Doctor Who serial City of Death. That's a that's a neat fact. I didn't know yes, that. Yes, yes, it was. It's, it's a weird one, but yeah. So I think maybe the the format of this is we try to start a new city here and look at some of the buildings, but then at some point, because that's not going to get us very far. We switch to here's one I made earlier, and we can look at some okay. of the other buildings. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm designating Kate Mayor. Um, oh my God, I'm yeah. the mayor. Yes, you got you got to pick a map. Okay, hold on. It's like still okay. Ooh, these are spicy. Okay, I think I'm totally gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, that looks cool. Wait, which one you cut which out? Which one? Exactly yeah, you cut you out. Oh, River, River Delta. I think River, River Delta. Okay. okay, let's try River Delta. We got European theme. We can change that. Yeah, it's uh, the climate is negative four to thirty-four degrees Celsius. It's in the northern hemisphere, which is where Europe is. Looks like we got everything we need. Is this just the Netherlands? Okay, we can't do the Netherlands. 
No. Okay. okay. Not, okay. Too okay. Not, not too late. Okay, okay. <laughs> I okay. want to say <laughs> the River Delta. Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, I want to say River Delta is actually based off of like Shanghai, but they only have a European and an American theme. That's silly. That's, that's, okay, let's uh, do Sweeping Plains then. Let's sweeping, do sweeping Plains. plains. Okay. This is, in, this is North American, but it's in the Southern Hemisphere for okay, reasons. Cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave everything default here. Oh, we gotta name the city. I don't like Heathsville. We need something else. Okay. Um hmm. the, I just like hitting just, that random button. Yeah, what's the random button say? We can get Wonton or <laughs> Build Long Island. You can get Wrestle. Okay, maybe not. Okay, one more time, just for you. Chorley. No, it has to be Chorley. Chorley is so Chorley. important. Chorley. I just noticed they misspelled length here. Oops. Oops. Put that on the, the, the bug list. All right. Okay. All right, let's go. <coughs> Fluted water will make citizens sick. I mean, they're not super wrong. Yeah. That sounds plausible. It's a... Uh, it's a big foreign policy strategy at the moment, um, I understand, in certain Middle Eastern countries. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Okay, all right. well, what, what do we do here? We've yeah. got to put a power plant. We have to, like, have a Promethean moment. Can we yeah. do, like, a hydro plant, or is that, like, not... You don't unlock that. You got a wind turbine it, yeah. or a coal plant. Yeah, or no, you can import. Turbine. You can also import electricity. Lease canceled. I feel like, I feel like wind turbine is lease canceled. But then we should import for backup. Back. All right, and then then we got to do roads and zones, and zones and roads. Okay, um, I'm gonna designate. I, you know, people like like to yell at me on the internet about zoning, so I think I might just designate this to you, Justin. Okay, well, good news uh, is we can only zone low density right now for single family houses. So. Oh wow! Perfect. Yeah, zone yeah. it all, baby. Yeah, Let's there's go. no there's no way to avoid getting yelled at for this one. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Nice right angle. We yeah. love that. I don't know. I have much. to say, the road building tools in this one are a lot better. Yeah. Sometimes this is they're looking a very finicky. cool. Sometimes they're finicky, but seeing the grade is really nice. You want a four laner for that bad boy in the middle. Do we have four? Oh, arterial. we do have four laners. Yeah, you get the one default yes. four laner. Wow. We're building Maslov's road hierarchy. Yes. Wow. No, wait. <coughs> this is looking very cool. Okay. You got your trident. Yeah, I got a trident here. It could become a grid. I tend to just do boring grids when I play in the game normally. Um, <laughs> I like a grid, you know. That's city is, and people really like that one. Uh, how much can we do here to start? Quite a lot. You get a million bucks or half a yeah, million bucks to start that's building. That's true. Your city. They give you they give you a lot of money in this game to start out with, and then they just keep shoveling. That actually is pretty a decent amount of money. <laughs> Yeah, especially when building that much road costs two hundred and twenty-five dollars. What? That does that? That can't be what it costs <coughs> in real life. It... No, I, I I always play these adding a few extra zeros onto the end of this. Okay, okay. My my strategy here has always been commercial on the main thoroughfare to start out with. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, that's that that checks out. Uh, before these all grow in, you can kind of juice a better building variety if you kind of, if you draw a few of these incomplete like not four deep ah or not six deep even now oh you know what you know what else we got to do is supply electricity we do need to hook up the power don't you yeah so what happens when you you typically have played the game with a lot of stuff turned off <laughs> although we can't do yeah. that yet oh uh, we need to set up the water and the poop. Okay, that's looking like. There's really only one spot. Man, to do I, it. I can't wait to to, to devote. 
several years of my life to this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Since you've never like done city building games in a long time, this is kind of a big moment. This, you know, you didn't this know what kinda, was possible. This is like showing a child like <laughs> Santa are, Claus for the first time. There are Easter Island heads blocking the road. You oh can my move, god, did you we can have move East, them on the left Eastern there. Islands? Apparently. Yeah, this is the question. Do we run the road around the heads or remove the heads? It's a roundabout that we can put the heads in the middle. Oh, that's a good idea. We have to do like a big roundabout. There is a dedicated roundabout tool, but it would be too... Uh, it's not going to work in this case. It's not going to work in this case, yeah. Yeah. It's really nice, though. I'm trying to get all the nice things I want to say about before we start. Before at we buildings. start doing the, uh, the. Um... Are the buildings worse in this edition than it was in uh, the last one? Uh... Uh... Well, they're certainly gonna... more gray. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, but I think they're better. But the whole game to me is like weird, uncanny valley of a real huh. city. So the the That's first crazy. one looked really. Um... Like, like, a Sam. like cartoony and goofy. <laughs> and this one is like really trying to be high quality and yeah, looking okay. realistic. And I think they just kind of missed it a little bit. Got to set up the poop. Okay. The poop is now being removed. The water is now being delivered. Um, the tower cranes have rolled in. The tower cranes have been rolled in. Um, I cannot... There's so many Twitter emojis. Cannot even begin to tell you um, how expensive this would be in real life. Uh, <laughs> you get to rename all the streets. You can, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I would devote a whole entire day just <laughs> doing that. Yeah, mash three on that keyboard. Let's go, turbo speed. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Cheetah speed. Is it turtle llama and cheetah? That's my SimCity knowledge. Yes, that was back, that was back when we had, uh, many jokes about llamas. Yeah, that's true, I remember the llamas. <laughs> All right, we've got our first buildings. Okay, let's see what we're cooking here. Okay, so we've got a trailer okay, with the small trailer bolted to it. Oh my god, it's a like trailer with an ADU. It's got an ADU, yeah. It does have an ADU. <laughs> <laughs> Above ground pool, though, make, that's pretty nice. Yeah. They, they make woke trailers now. It's a really, it's a really big lot. I think that's what the one. Yeah, next... but it is a. That's what the one next door is. This oh, is the woke Lord. trailer. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, this the... has got a shed roof. That's how you know. Yes. Why is it facing that way and not... Um, I don't know. What is... Oh, it's just... This is just a giant parking zone here in the Yeah, front. they just have yes. a huge driveway. Massive driveways. That's, Everyone has their huge... That's so funny. Okay. This is real vernacular, you know. I won't even... I... You know, this is... <laughs> True vernacular. Oh, this one. Oh, look at this one. Is this got, like what is it trying to be? It's got solar panels on the top. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did they well. have a greenhouse? I mean, real kind of innovator in the space, yeah. I would say. This whole thing. Do you think any of the buildings we've seen so far look even remotely American? Yeah, this is my uh, real question. I would say sure. They kind of look almost Australian. Sorry. Australia's where I was going to go as well. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah, the trailers like are vaguely American, but the shed style houses are definitely more Australian. See, I don't understand how you transport an L-shaped trailer on the highway. L-shaped um, truck. <laughs> yeah, you need an L-shaped truck. <laughs> right, and then it comes together, yeah. <laughs> like those manufactured houses, like they come together. All right, what do we what do we have here? Are these the same? These these, these, the, these flat roof houses are very Australian to me, yeah. like with the solar panels and the big verandas. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not another... an expert on the Australian vernacular, but it's yeah. very much. This is like if you tried to build a trailer, sort of in the style of um, Charleston, South Carolina. You know, where they got the porch that extends deep into the lot. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I can see it. it. Or like in California with the shed style. I was thinking off the ground, like the Gulf Coast. Not yeah, quite yeah, high yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're on kind of like small plinths, but not yeah. like tall ones. What is, is this a strip mall? This is a, this is yeah, a single store. 
Hair lore it's... design. Interlore design. From the mm. interlore period, you know, between yeah. World Lore yeah. One and World Lore Two. I mean, it's hard to say much. Well, let me go on the other side where there's better light. We have uh Oh yeah, look at this. Is this like an insomnia cookies knockoff here? It does kind of look like Google it. Yeah. Mu Google mucosa. Okay, okay, can someone tell me like what the names come from? Are they just like randomly generated? They made them all up. So yeah. all of these are like brands in game. Okay. You have to forgive this like weird blurry texture thing is a bug. They're yeah, there is. A, they are having. Uh, they are having weird texture bugs still. Yeah. Um, Crazy. But they made up all these brands trying to make them sound. Wait a second. Does this house have an outhouse? Mine's it's a... just like a little shed, but it does. It sure oh, okay. does look like an outhouse. No, that's that's it, definitely an outhouse. <laughs> that's one hundred percent an outhouse. Oh, right. Hey, hey, we got milestone one. What do we want to unlock? We have one uh, development point. Okay, one development point. Oh man, parking that's canceled. What's the other one? Yeah, uh, we got roundabouts. We got advanced road services. We could try and unlock an emergency battery station, which is useless because okay, we're seems, importing. That, okay, never mind. I was going to say that sounds responsible, but... Yeah. Crematorium like is useful. Plant... Actually, crematorium is useful right now, yeah. Yeah, let's do crematorium, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now we have to provide services. Your tax two. dollars at work. Little clinic. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna put the crematorium in the middle of the city. That seems. Oh, the clinic. Well, that's a yeah, clinic. Put the clinic. Yeah. Also, people in cities one loved living near the crematorium. I was they couldn't get say, enough yeah. of it. That's really bizarre. <coughs> Is there any way to keep the trees? No. Yeah, we put the put the um put the crematorium yeah. a stop across from the clinic. That's where they put the mistakes. Um, that's efficiency. Baby. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. No way to keep the trees. Literally everything just blasts clean over whatever was there and puts its own trees and things in instead. So eco-modernist of them. I mean, so modernist, so anti-eco-modernist. I don't know. I'm really tired. I was teaching all day today and just got back and then like had like pasta and now I'm here. So I'm like... If you I'm zone one... <coughs> oh, no. oh. Oh, I'm in the fun zone, is what I'm saying. Okay, zone one. Uh, oh. Just if oh, you right. zone one little block at a time. Oh, that's a good point, like, yeah. For so one we can building, get more, you get of, the more of a variety. Yeah. Well, we got to get some oh, industry in here, too. Okay. And make all What's those our trucks. Options? Let's for pollute industry? the river, baby. Hell yeah. It's all smokestack industry. Yes. There's no other option. Uh. We have to go through, like, the fucking 19th century, but then we have, like, Wind turbines already here. Feels a little disingenuous. It, it's it's very strange. It is it is sort of like uh, you know people who have had a vision in their mind for what a factory looks like, um, but didn't decide to look at any actual ones. Yeah, like I was doing this thing for Harvard. Uh, they have like a journal for architecture uh, called Pairs. And they had me, like, watch these old um, steel promotional videos uh, that were just, like, really fascinating because they show the construct. I, I, I think that there were intended to be industry videos, <coughs> um, like, for investors or for people who build steel plants or whatever. But they showed, like, the building of these steel plants in, in Japan. Um, and one was in like the fifties and then one was in the, uh, seventies. And the funny thing about the one from the seventies <sighs> is, is like, there's two funny things. One, like a Shinto priest comes and blesses the steel plant. Oh, hell yeah. And then like the, the difference between the two plants is like really amazing. Cause like the first one is like just total modernism where they're just like, okay, we're going to like build an artificial Island and then put a, a giant steel plant there. Um, and then the other one was like, oh, we're going to be like more responsible. And like, they have like, they have this real kind of clean room full of, uh, there's this great juxtaposition between like the, the really sweaty, like kind of workers on the floor and like the, the management people in like the clean room, which is very seventies. Cause now we have the managerial cause or whatever. But then at the end, the end yeah. is so funny because they basically have a, a shot of everyone in the plant plant, like planting a tree as though to like, 
absolve their sins for like <laughs> making a steel plant it's like the most like it's like oh shit we have to like acknowledge that the environment is real now because it's 1975 or whatever <laughs> and it's just an amazing clip because like the way that it happens it just feels like a total non sequitur like you just watch this like cool triumph of modernity that's like very very masculine and it's like blessed by a shinto priest and then it's like oh by the way we planted some trees just really the 70s mind yeah. is really incredible but that's this that's what this reminds me of you know what i mean like yeah is like building a factory and then being like oh but like what about the environment i'm just I look at these and I'm like, there's all these tiny factories so close together. It is definitely like a, it, a, a vision of the 19th century here. Um, it is very 19th century. Yeah, this like weird factory density. Uh, it's funny no. now because like I wait. So when your when your city develops, did these all become breweries? No. They oh, that would be funny. <laughs> they stay, everything stays. This is apparently a sawmill. I don't know why it needs this smokestack. Um, <laughs> We're burning everything we saw. Yeah, we 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 run the entire factory on a steam engine powered by logs. <laughs> Seems uh, sustainable. Yeah, it's biomass. Yeah. Okay, here here we get to do the fun thing. We can do our first bit of upzoning. Oh my god, that's the cool thing to do. Yes. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna Let's... do some row houses. Don't forget, Ooh. draw ball at different depths to make it spot a few more versions. Oh. Wait, does, does the upzoning wait? Does the upzoning evict the trailer people? Yes, yeah, absolutely, instantly, immediately. Yeah, like like you know, if 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 this is this is the 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 you know th this is the true nightmare is that yes, actually zoning will instantly evict you. That's how the game yeah. works. Everything that in these feared has mm -hmm. come to pass. Oh my god, it's all true. Actually, it looks like we are getting all the different varieties and shapes. Yeah, it just seems to do that on its own sometimes. I did. No thanks, we don't want the back of the lot. I can't wait to cite this game in my next piece in the nation about like... <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, Jesus. God, each of those cranes could build like five houses either side of the lot that they're on. These two people yeah, didn't actually... Like they, they evicted them, but they didn't move. They're Protest. still sitting there. Is that a bug, or are they just really cool? I think, I think they might just bug. be really cool. Whoop! Oh, up! Yep. They're dead. Now they're out. No, no, they they oh, were sitting on they were sitting on the they bench before the, the bench, bench was built. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these buildings, which I find really interesting. Like these, these feel like. The 2000s version of the sort of Second Empire look. You know, like how in the 70s yeah. where you had like the Mansard yeah. dormers or whatever, but yes. this is the 2000s version of it. You know what I mean? Because like with the white tram and the asphalt shingles and everything, and you, these ones next to them really look like they're kind of made out of fake stucco, like the cornices and stuff. Uh, oh. the, it's, it, it's, the intention was to make those look like 19th century buildings they failed they look like but, they're from 2008 well but the, they the, yeah it looks like it looks like they were built new but with window air conditioners you know <laughs> oh the window air conditioners are so bad why well partly the low oh, i guess cause, yeah partly the texture issues we're still having but partly yeah it's, it's kind of uh weird now the thing I, which I is will interesting is these aren't actually row houses they are small apartment buildings as coded in the game yeah they kind of look like they are not row houses they definitely look like yeah. they're like a six flat or something yeah they've got what four units per six yeah, units somewhere per somewhere between four and six yeah yeah oh we got some of the we got a third variety here oh um, those are kind of cute those That's look a little like bit more simple yeah, I was gonna say those look like some of the like public housing low rise yeah. stuff from like outer Brooklyn. Yeah, like the kind of like nineteen forties era. Yeah. You may notice they do not take advantage of the corner lot um for extra no. light. Um you just No, that's great. Walls. That's where we're gonna put our craft brewery mural. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> An alley or just like a really bad alley? Like in the <laughs> Yeah, it's that's just fun. behind the back of them. 
Wait, do we have a landfill yet? That feels like we need one. We probably need a landfill. We don't strictly okay, need it yet. They export the trash until uh, until until you build one. Um, that's so funny. It's also, like yeah, it just becomes other people's problem. Yes, it's very strange. We got more. Okay, what do we got here? Is this like a Carabas grill? Looks like it. Okay. The the yeah, Limza I bar. I think that's a supermarket. That's a huge bar. What kind of drinks? Are, like what? Is that competitive drinking? <laughs> you can see what if you click on it, you can see what it actually oh, yeah. is supposed to be. Limza Bar, right? thirty-seven Elizabeth Street. It requires beverages and sells entertainment. Huh? That's wow! Cool wow! Is that what bars sell? Yeah, yeah, entertainment. You get a little box of entertainment that you get to take home with you. We this gotta... is so addicting. Look, we're already winning. Yes. Okay, we definitely need an elementary school. Yes. Um, okay. Well, we can. We already unlocked the elementary school. We could unlock a college. No, um, no, 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 no. That's a waste of money. Yeah, it, it, yes, yes. I. I it's that's how you get high density. Though. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Ooh. Yeah. Um, okay, let's then we can do that. Incinerator right, plant. It's, on, it's on the path to high density. Yeah, it's you on have to a place path. Place college to make anybody want to build high density. Is this like a for-profit college or something? Like, who would go to college in this tiny ass little town? In a college that is founded in the year February 2023. Is this like the University of Austin or something? At the Vry, we're serious about success. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get a gas power plant. We get a water treatment plant. Okay, I want to go with water treatment. That looks really responsible to me. Sorry. Yeah, and okay, we're currently yeah. dumping all the sewage straight into the river unprocessed. Yes. I don't like that. Oh. That really upsets me. So I, as the mayor, I think that that's. Let's do it. All right. I gotta put, put it, it over by, by the uh, by the, the industry, industry, right? Well, or the yeah. river. Yeah. Well, I, the poop pipe is over here, so I figure that's probably the spot for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the... It's not working though. So uh, it's not doing much. Huh, maybe. Well, it says it's working. Then that's all you need. Probably should. But thankfully, we did get to we did get to uh, the water treatment plant before we got a big like, from what I could tell, semi permanent brown stain in the river. Oh uh, yeah, they don't dissipate. It's really frustrating. I I have very not strange. enjoyed that. Um, now the weird thing is the way the water treatment plant works, as far as I can tell is it doesn't actually treat water to be disposed of. It treats water to the extent that it can be recirculated into the system. Um, yeah, it's like the space stage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You should That's kind of gross. Delete the poop yeah, pipe yeah. or they'll keep using it. Oh, crap. Okay. How do I... All oh, right, I have to do the underground. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think it's overground. You can just delete the actual building oh. there, the outlet building. Well, we could do that too. There you go. Now we got to do the building that's the bane of my existence in this game so far, and we'll see that when we do the, the college. No, the elementary, elementary school. Um, now I like how all these children were illiterate, and now they're not. What I want you to do is compare the height of the elementary school. What? Why is it so huge? With the buildings across the street. <laughs> Why is it so huge? It's really Why big. It's big I, and like the windows are like twice as big as like the like what? Yeah, this is a good. This is probably a good like this. This is like twenty foot high floors, at least. Why is it so <laughs> monumental? Like chill <laughs> out. What's weird is if you zoom into the front door, the front door is like correctly scaled. Like they, for some reason, I think they just picked a really weird like prototype for this. What and the, the architecture is so funny. This is like very like 1993 Pomo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this much... is like a real school oh, in my Texas. God, it's it's three stories in third. the back. <laughs> with, with all the weird curtains. Maybe that's just an atrium or something. Like a central yeah. atrium. I think yeah. that's going to render as two floors. Looking at how those yeah. windows work, I it's going to be say. three separate rooms across the bottom and one giant room on that weird second floor. So this is where the frustration start to come in for me, which is all these buildings, because you can upgrade them, when you plop them down, they come with all these extra gardens on the side. 
right? Um, this yeah. one's bad. The high school is worse. Why is it they're they're like unnecessarily big? Why do they have a French like yeah, 17th I, century garden in there or whatever? Th this, 18th this century game, Versailles ass high school. <laughs> yes, I, I, it's it's uh it's full of formal gardens. It's formal gardens as far as the eye can see. Um, but why? This is constant through all the educational buildings. They're just yeah. crammed full of formal gardens. Yeah, even, That's even the... so funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, show where the like how the upgrades and things work. Okay, yeah, you better so, believe. I think the college you can add an additional formal garden. Yes. Um. So Crazy. if you are running out of space for kids in the elementary school, all I do is I add an extra wing. Oh, and I unlock a milestone. We got three development points now. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Big that money. was cool. Maybe it's time for the road service stuff and like roundabouts and things. Yeah, yeah we could I do that. So. We can skip parking, but we're probably going to want those large roads and highways. I didn't unlock large roads until I had like 75,000 people on my first city. <laughs> I was like, nope, don't need them. Not for also, me. Also, uh, you don't unlock transit until well past this point. I think the next yeah. milestone gives you like basic transit, and you can't afford trains unless you've saved up all your money. I'm going to unlock the college get, just so we like... can... Oh. I'm just yeah, gonna, okay. I I'm, feel like the the, the, oh. the degree between college and large hadron collider is like just what? That's yeah. that's like not enough degrees of separation between those things, in my opinion. So anyway, you can add extension wings to the elementary school to take up some of the formal gardens, and then here I can add an extension on one side. I could add one, except sometimes it doesn't work. Um, that's weird. Yeah. They're oh, also asymmetrical. Goes. Yeah, oh. they are asymmetrical. But we still have a that's shitload annoying. of formal gardens. Um, that's that, for smoking cigarettes. That's a good point, yeah. And then, and then of course, I can add the football stadium as well. What? The fact that this doesn't line up and can't be, like, square with any of the building sides very, bothers me. Very so frustrating. <laughs> that's really annoying. Actually. So annoying. It's, like, it just, just not quite right. In the elementary school, the upgrades... So we've only, we've added all the classroom upgrades we can add. What do you think the other okay. two upgrades are? Sports. Oh. Sports is correct. And the other one's a clinic. For you can for have a whole separate building that's a of, clinic for students, and you can you, add as many of them as you want. You can add as, as many want. of those as you'd like around the perimeter. That's really the weird. What? And then I can add a playground a on the other playground. side. Okay, that's good. A playground is good. Yeah. Playground is good, yeah. But you add the little children's clinic outbuilding, which is that weird octagon. That's why is it an octagon? That seems like not a. Uh, because of uh, because of old Tommy J. Uh, Tom Jefferson, framer of the Constitution, big octagon uh, guy. Love the octagon, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Louis the Fourteenth High School fighting sons. Fighting sons. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go Suns. Let's try Not some. Basketball, though. We have some medium density demand. I think we should look at some medium density buildings. Let's do it. Yeah. Draw, draw some that are six deep as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Like five, four, three, four, five, three. Deep. Some of the two deep, like the two by twos are some of the weirder ones when they get taller. Let's Did a tiny what... skinny house? Is that yeah? Yeah. So okay. most of these can get as small as I think two by two. Oh or yeah. Two by three. Maybe. You get this real little tiny guy right here. Yeah. Real trailer type stuff. Yes. Why are the trailer they made it like the trailers aesthetic? <clears throat> well what's really like... strange is if you click these, you can see who's living in them and like a lot of the time yeah, comfortable <clears throat> well. Mm -hmm. Three residents. Like Yes. There's sort of a, a weird, like, house size, because the buildings level up rather than, like, actually work like buildings do. Well, let's check out these bad boys. Yeah. Unfortunately, all the, the, same. the lighting is not, not good for these, but, um, yeah, this is where, this is the the lowest level of medium density are buildings that are 12 stories high. <laughs> wow. Not only are they 12 stories high, but they're or, giving prison. Sorry. 
Why are the windows so tiny and sad? Yes. Oh, it At gets worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just you wait. These are these like are some not... of the most, these are some of the most normal buildings we'll see today. Yeah. Um, it's very nineteen like or like early twentieth century skyscrapers, like before they figured out. No, I don't know. It's really weird. They look weird. Why are they so small? Yeah, and they, they, they don't actually go edge to edge on the lot. Like, they have all this extra space around them. They also they're don't... They're set back. They're, they're, they're squares, which is a terrible uh, a terrible floor plate for yeah, a residential a building. Shot. Yeah, uh, it's like, <laughs> there's got to be some windowless bedrooms in there. But also, like, yeah. why do they look like, like AT&T buildings from, like, 1930? Like, that's what they would put, like, telephone switching equipment in. Yeah. Also... <laughs> Weird side note, two entrances in the front means there's definitely two staircases, which is you do not need the two yeah. separate external Forms fire escapes. Forms of egress, yeah. yeah. Well, you also got the uh, external fire escape as well, you know, you figure That's that out. Would... You don't need either of them, there's two on there. There's two external fire escapes. Yeah. Wait, there's three that external feels... fire three escapes. Fire escapes. <laughs> Are these things like death traps or something? Like, is that what... No, there's so many ways to escape, you can barely stay in your apartment. <laughs> you just get sucked clean out. <laughs> Wait, what's this weird guy next to it? Yeah, oh, little guy. Yeah, this little guy. That, that, frankly, that is a sad little building. Like, that is it's just. Got, it's got small. some cute little Tudor details up here. It has a little dormers. They just add. They it, add yeah. so much insult to injury. It's like. <laughs> it has a ladder this, yeah, that doesn't go uh, anywhere. That's okay. Um, again, a lot of God, that looks that is so miserable. A lot of places where there should be windows and are not. Um, got a wooden water God, tower. So Some of these got oh. two wooden water towers. Why the like? What is what year is it? Oh my God, the little. Laundry Close lines. Yeah, they're drying the laundry on the roof of the building. <laughs> what is this supposed to be a tenement or something? Like I guess. Um, but like a weird timeless tenement. Yeah, yeah like a weird simulacra. This is like where a tenement. this is the where eternal my teen queens. This is where you go to live in the pod and eat the bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's Wait, what's like this pretty... on the end. Yeah. This one's. Wait, this one's... one's... It's all right. It suffers like it. from a problem that I've noticed a lot in video game art, which is you overuse water tables. Yeah. Because uh, this it's one's got one every texture. two floors. <laughs> it's neat to model a building like this after the cornice has been removed for maintenance. Uh, is it, no, it's got a reverse cornice is the thing. It gets yeah. narrow. That is really weird. What? A lot of these have <laughs> inverted cornices. Also, the yeah. tiniest little keystones on the flat arch above the top floor windows. Oh, yeah. Wow. Tiniest Those little are... stick on keystones. Not even a lintel. <laughs> Oh, there's uh, lintels on the on the lower there's lintels one, on the rest of them. Yeah, not on the top. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because it goes, it goes. Okay, there's no detail on what the first the floor. Entrance? That's just is... cinder block, giant it's cinder made, block. It's like, yeah, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's yeah, giant it's cinder block and then giant brick, right? Um, it's the same cinder blocks they used to build the cinder block pyramids. There we go, lintel, 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 then flat arch, and then. Only keystone. keystone. <laughs> Why do the lintels look like they're upside down? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's, it's like yeah. it's like it's got it's little crazy. it's got little devil horns. <laughs> it's like supposed to be like an Italianate hood a... or something, but they just like put it up. <laughs> weird. Oops. Weird partition walls there. Yeah. Also a lot of. All right, this one. Is this supposed to be the Art Deco one? A little Deco. Yeah, they, they look like sort of a... They look like something you would see in Washington, D.C., you know? They do look like some D.C. buildings, for sure. Yeah. Once again, the, the first floors on these are all wild. I was about to say... What is going on here? Why not does a, this look like just, just like a, a prison? There's no lobby. It's just like, fuck you, it's get just in two, there. two doors with your uh, electric doorman. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, no yeah. windows here, like... What's the lobby like in this building? I mean, this looks like a back entrance to a college dorm. Actually, 
It does. This looks like a college dorm. It's Thurston Hall at uh, George Washington University. <laughs> Like every door is the poor door. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. You'll, you'll know. It's like a lot of these buildings are like, oops, all backs of buildings on all yeah. four sides. They just that actually the... is a very good description of what we're seeing here. Yeah. Also, the random garage, like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Everything's got underground parking. All right. So we have whatever this is. This one seems That's a little like less bad. FOMO. Yeah. Gable, okay. And then this guy here, that one's fine actually. I feel like this is the the, the least bad of yeah. them. Yeah, it has it has some amount. This one of has detail. like an inappropriate entrance. Yeah, it actually looks like you know an actual entrance to the building. Um, you know, that's a good chunk of the medium density there. Uh, crap, where do we go from here? How like did they develop this game without like? People who you could zone if you got demand. You could zone some of the European ones. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, Rich. I don't know enough about European architecture to even think about any of this, but I know a lot of the other Europeans are pretty mad about it. So I feel like the Europeans are less <laughs> mad than Americans in general. Like, word about architecture. They're they're weirded out at least by yeah. a lot of these buildings. Hopefully some of these will grow at all these different sizes. Well, the buildings make ride. you confused and infuriated. With that said, though, um, I have seen somebody went and, f and posted uh, pictures of some medium density stuff in Helsinki, which yeah. the game is developed in Finland. Uh, these European buildings look a decent amount like the ones in Helsinki. So, uh, you got to figure uh, it's very cold, so you need a lot of insulation. That means fewer windows. Fewer, yeah. Do we we should build a hospital here, I think. Oh, uh, we already built the oh. clinic. Although we'll someone clinic. says someone says we gotta build a police station. Uh, oh well, no. Uh no. Just, We're just remember. As as uh all, as city controller, I am uh voting that we do carceral urbanism. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's it all comes back. We're all yeah. still playing games based off of urban dynamics. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There have been no new ideas in this genre since Urban Dynamics. <laughs> no, actually, that's true. All right. Here's one. Okay. To me, that looks okay. I'm sure there's some European person. I think it's laughable that they say this is representative of all of Europe. It still but... has a very lame entrance. It does. Yeah, right? wow. There are windows, though. So somebody looks got like it could be like in Bulgaria or something, but like new. Yeah. Right. No. They Weird. just like poke holes in these suckers, man. Like the idea of massing is just boring. They really like thick floor plates, you know. Um, just very yeah. yeah. Like the apartments in here have got to suck. <laughs> no light, ventilation, just air conditioning and cry. Window air conditioning and cry. So you don't even yeah. get air conditioning in the middle of the building. Yeah. They really kind of do look like check panel acts or something. They're, yeah, they're all growing as the six by six big boy. Yeah, this is a big yeah, issue a with the guy. game. There's I a think. lot of buildings yeah. that look like this in like Slovenia. This little guy's kind of fun. The window pattern on that it's is kind of cute. Yeah. Wild though. Yeah, it's very a strange. Is that like a staircase with weird halfway. It would have landings? to be right. It's got dryer nice. vents. At least Ooh. two in some of these apartments. <laughs> they got two dryers? Wow. Wow. That's real luxury. That's two more Maybe than most like Europeans. A... <laughs> Maybe one's yeah. like a vent hood <laughs> for kitchen stuff. Yeah, I'm being true. as generous as I possibly can. I was about to say. Hell I mean, of a yard there with the whole gazebo and everything. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, formal garden damn. at home. You don't even need to go to school for the formal garden. <laughs> you don't even need to go to school. <laughs> You're broke, dude. Yeah. Well, we are starting to run out of money, but the the easy way to get around that is just to keep plopping stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely uh, deficit spending, and then you get a huge grant from the government when you hit the next milestone. Yes. Which you're super close to. You could probably build yeah. a road and pop it. Yeah, that's true. 
Uh, it just did it on its own. There you go. Mills okay, bills. Cool. Yeah. Straight into the bank account. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of fun stuff here. Transportation. Fi finally. Ooh, and all the landmarks. You're not wow. going to build the landmarks. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we could build the Hotel Pennsylvania. Um, I also like, oh wait, God. real quick, go back to the Hotel Pennsylvania because the yeah. tool tip. Yeah. Stood Cla the test of time. Stood the test of time. Mm, last time I was at Penn Station, there was a vacant lot there. <laughs> they, yeah, they're tearing that. I stayed in the Hotel Pennsylvania once, and it was dog shit. <laughs> it, yeah, that's... It was, like, the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, and also it was just, like, everyone who was trying to go to New York on the Chief was... It was just, like, there were lines... The line to check in was just, like, walk, like, the, there was no breakfast. I mean, it was just... The, the bed was just... Fucking! I checked for bed bugs like every night. It was a total <laughs> fucking shithole. Like, all right, the building was great. Like the architecture of the building is great or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, it was so careworn. Like everything was falling apart. The paint was yeah. peeling off the ceiling. It was just like an old, <coughs> old dame, you know, the doyen yeah. of a previous New York. Uh, I'm sad yeah. to see it go in favor of like just more bullshit office space or whatever, yeah. but. And wow. I'm sad that they didn't just reuse it because it was totally reusable. I was about to they say they, they really, they really built, they really did that building dirty. Um, you know, I know, like it was built to withstand like a bajillion years of capitalism, only for some like fucking private equity or whatever, like firms to be like, I need a new tornado office tower or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't yeah. know they, they are calling it Pen Fifteen, which is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ten fifteen. Okay, yeah. At, at the end yeah. of the day, we are getting a big penis bill. Yeah. <laughs> and... At the end of the day, we all get to laugh. Um. <laughs> all right, we got four development points to spend. Uh, uh trains. Trains. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We can't get trains. Ching. All right, let's do trains. Now we got three. Uh, some of the parks, maybe. The base parks, you get them. Not. Nah. Yeah. Park Fish and park maintenance is important. Park maintenance, and then I don't know. We got two more. Yeah. So, uh, welfare office. The wel get the welfare office just because the building is wild. It's a weird building, yeah. It's a weird building. And you only have what? Yeah, not we much cost one more anymore. Yeah, I was about I, to say. In my other build, I've ended up with the same thing where I'm just like sitting and waiting. For... <coughs> This, ooh, it's fall. Fall, it very fall. pretty in this yes. game. I have to say. Why does it say it's March though at the bottom? Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. No way to change that, by the way. It's very strange. Our maps are just, <laughs> just in the Southern Hemisphere. And we've unlocked offices. We have. Ooh, office man through the roof and low rent housing, by the way, which is only high density towers. Yes. Wow, that's so base. <laughs> There's no, but they are they are <laughs> so hard. Zone. They're so hard yep, to manage. So. Really? Why? Yeah, be because they if you make it too nice for the low rent housing, the like subs, it's called low rent housing, but it, it's trying to be like a weird amalgamation of like public housing section eight. Like you don't actually build the buildings; you just say here's you what zone it's going to be, and then they build. Yeah, and then and then if they get too like nice, they get abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, if it's too nice, what? they're like, wow, we don't need this anymore. See you later. And it yeah. abandons the whole tower. And then it collapses. <laughs> yeah. It's the opposite of what happens in real life. Anti That's like dark Prudigo. Yeah. <laughs> Prudigo. Well, rest in peace. Taken yeah. too soon. Truly... That's it's crazy that like Yamasaki has like the worst luck ever, man. Imagine like <laughs> really yeah, yeah. I was about his, to say it's like a graduate school project. Like it was like one of his first object, like <laughs> first projects as an architect, and then like he, he's like, okay, yeah, that that building is like called the you know heralded as like the death of modern architecture by Charles Jenks, who was like a real dick about that, unnecessary. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> World Trade Center. Yeah. They need to shore up that building of his in Seattle with the narrow little base, that like beaver tree looking thing. Mm. Oh, they gotta that's just shore, very shore that one up. That's what? From that building. 
These are some strange windows no, no. on this guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was talking about the Yamasaki building, not this whatever the fuck yeah. this is. That uh, just yeah. that looks like just like the worst possible public housing that they construct in New York that has like tiny the tiniest windows imaginable. Like that is <laughs> what? Yeah. It, it looks like that big prison in Manhattan, right? That prison Dude, like Manhattan tower. Prison. Here's it's so thing. strange that that's the street facing side. Like, you've what got, is this frontage? You've got so much frontage here. Are you using this all for staircases? I can tell you you're not. You know why? Because roof access is over here. And this is like the tiny roof access from uh, the room, you know? Uh, <laughs> also, this game's obsession with weird giant external ducting. Oh, the like ducting is very yeah, what, strange. What is yeah. going on here? This ducting doesn't make any sense. Well, there's, there's weirder. There's a, there's some weird ducting, yeah. But this is I'm, I'm, there's no there's there's no um, there's no chiller up here. There's no air, air handling unit. <laughs> it just, just moves ducting. the air from yeah. one side of the building. Move the air from the one other. part of the building to the other part of the building. Oh my god. <laughs> You have to trade temperature. If it's like it's too hot in my apartment, you have to figure out everybody yeah, you gotta, else. You got to negotiate with, with your neighbor. <laughs> That's some the of the buildings here. What the hell is that one? This is office a low, building. low density office building. Oh, okay. There are chillers there. Yeah. <laughs> Again, weird like round piping yeah. on the roof. Yeah. Why? That's indoor piping. It's a software press. Yeah. Huh. Oh, they require oh, no, software, they need to, software. Produ to produce media. <laughs> okay, it's a media yeah. media company. Okay. Broadcasting hub. Uh, no, nope, it so. it went out of business. It's empty now. <laughs> Damn. The podcasting Oops. is taking a hit. I'm telling you. Yeah. What's this guy? Indie. The indie lizard. Well, okay, that sounds like a plausible name. Bend. Now it's bendy letters. Bendy letters. Okay, it just changed in front of us. The business cycle is booming. Um, this is giving recession. What is this? <laughs> what the hell is going on with this? Oh, this is. <laughs> what is with those like forty-five degree entrance? This is not even a fucking entrance. No, it's not the entrance. That'd be too normal. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I was just like the weirdest, like tiny little solar installations. Yes. Like what is that? Not powering can... anything. Like, no. it's like charge, the emergency I charge. Charge. toilet. I could charge one cell phone. We got the Harry Potter yeah, this building. This looks kind of normal. This looks kind of normal. It does. Yeah, this is actually yeah, weird on its lot though. Like yeah, it's weird. Yeah, why cool. is the parking lot like that? Hmm. Show cars yeah. in these parking lots like i was about to say not a lot of well there's a, a ample street parking which is free i can't fix that though you can, yeah you can charge for it all right let's let's do let's do based urbanism here okay what, what are we doing here we made a district uh, now we can I'll set shoot. district oh we can't they're set all, district well, policies locked. yeah, yeah they're all locked on uh, never mind time. you can charge 50 dollars for street parking <laughs> that is only just <laughs> which is wild considering how much it costs <laughs> to build a chunk of street long enough for like several parking spots is $50 so that's, you can make that's up called for return that. on investment right there yeah pretty much instantly I don't want to put that there. Zoning here, commercial. Sweet. Yeah, we can get some of the, some of the European commercial, which hopefully won't oh, turn lovely. into. Hopefully, won't turn into just gas stations. Although it sometimes does that. Yeah, that's oops. funny. Oops, all gas stations. <laughs> oops, all gas stations. Like uh, two blocks from me, there are just like two gas stations across <laughs> the street from each other, and I swear to Christ, they like collude with each other. One went out of business for like mysterious reasons, but now it's back. And like the price of gas is like always the same, and like no, I mean it's it's actually quite bizarre. Uh, the I think there's actually probably some weird local drama going on that that sphere. Um, gas station drama. Careful breaking the grid here. Actually, um, that'll get you some interesting looking buildings.
Someday we'll develop a city builder that can figure out what to do with the spaces in between zoned areas. The technology. That's amazing, yeah. That's See, isn't, that's isn't I think yet. the reverse is going to happen where, um, you know, the way the way building codes and architecture have been working for a while now is that we will forget how to fill in the areas between diagonal roads in real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but generally, how the fuck are you supposed to get to those parking spaces like in the in the in the crook of the L? Oh, back. yeah, yeah, you can't get there. A, it's got a drive through. It's got a drive. You got to drive. Uh, no, on the left, see? Oh, yeah, Look. sure enough. Oh, Which yeah, means what do you a, do in that little no man's land to the side of it? Right? Who works to the left of that hole right now? Yeah. That is weird. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, we do have one yeah, gas Yeah, how do... Oh, there's a door there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's just like its own what? little what? small shop. But it does have what a chiller on top. But the okay. chiller, the duct from the chiller doesn't go into that area. So I guess it's just unair conditioned. Amazing. We love it. <laughs> like, okay, but who designs these buildings in the game? I don't know. <laughs> it's baffling. It's baffling. I truly yeah. actually have questions because this is not what I think yeah. buildings look like. But I'm curious to see what other people think <laughs> buildings look like. Yeah. Um, there's like the signifiers of buildings without uh, it being fully fleshed out. Oh, we yeah. got some little craftsman houses. Can we see Oh, them? oh yeah. Yeah. They do have a couple of these. They show up every once in a while. Oh, um, yeah. That's cute. Okay. Rare, cute. Yeah. Moment. That's, a, that's a good one. These guys Wild don't. Wild driveway situation, though. I was about to say, these people have a lot. They devote a lot of their yard to parking. Um there's a yeah, lot of impervious they surface still park in the, on the street, dog. <laughs> Get it together. Yeah, Jesus, this is just all asphalt. What? That is not my idea. Yeah, okay, whatever. Very, there's a lot of, there's a lot, a lot of asphalt in this game. It's amazing how car-brained it is, actually, despite the fact that we've been living with, I don't know, like 40 years of discourse against that. And the devs are from Finland, from Scandinavia. Yeah. <laughs> They're from Finland? Yeah. yeah. They don't like have any cars in Finland. I mean they do, but Yeah, but you can yeah. only you can only Why drive is so American looking. You can only drive cars in Finland if you're actually a rally driver is the thing. Funny. I covered F one this weekend. Oh yeah? Ooh. I got to meet Lewis Hamilton. Oh fun. Nice. <laughs> He's really cool. He's like the only famous person who has didn't disappoint me in some way. He was really nice. I can't um, believe I like him now. Yeah, I, I know. So I know much. exactly. Right? You know, I'm I'm in the same place so right much. now. <laughs> and now, I, and and it's the same with with Vettel, who I like now. Oh uh, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. I I never like. I've been a Ferrari fan for what twenty five years now. So when yeah, when finger like when finger boy showed up, I hated him. And then all it took was him stopping winning all the time. I'm like, oh, actually, he's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, you know, I yeah, think that he's a good guy. Same same with Lewis, right? When he showed up and made it so my team didn't win, I hated him. Also, he was an asshole of a driver. Now he's a better, yeah. more responsible driver. It's Verstappen who I hate. Desperate. Oh, I hate Verstappen. And I hate Max Verstappen more than I've hated either Fingerboy, Vettel, or Lulu. I hate Max Verstappen. Sorry. I hate Verstappen. He's like, has just no personality and he wins all the time, which is like just a yeah. kind of common Dutch phenomenon. I think there's something off like, about Formula One in general where there's just one guy who wins all the time and everything else is... Cycling gets like this too. Yeah. I don't know what it is. All sports. Maybe this is just part of like sometimes things just trend towards like an equilibrium. But yeah, uh, I mean, in Formula One, that you can point the finger and just say someone's cheating or something, and it gets like a whole brouhaha. Like there's all this like when we went on the garage tour, we like couldn't have our phones out because like all there's all these screens and like they didn't want anyone doing espionage. Um, they're very like strict about it. Um, but, you know, and you... it was very weird. We got to see the car when it was naked, though, which was pretty awesome. It was oh. like seeing the moon lander or something. <laughs> Some things are just beyond my yeah. comprehension, you know. It was like, damn, maybe... modernity rules. 
They just need to bring back engines that are so like tightly tuned and on the edge that they could just explode at any moment. That really shakes up the old championship where yeah. <laughs> e- even Michael Schumacher, who's running away with the season, can have two races where his engine <laughs> is just a cloud of smoke and parts. Yeah. These middle density ones are not as bad. These look okay. Yeah, yeah, these, yeah are these, are the, these are the European row houses, yeah. Which, again, again are not, not a row houses. House. Not a row house, and it doesn't really look that European to me. Maybe right. like in Iceland or something. The metal but... roof does it for me. Yeah. It yeah. feels very yeah. European. The metal pitch roof. There's, yeah. an, there's, there's yeah. another one, but it's only shown up in one spot, which is this guy. That which... one's cute. That's very Dutch. Yeah, I like yeah. the I like the second floor balcony. Yeah, I don't like the great. Finally, brick. a fucking balcony uh, <laughs> on these things. Like, why are there just no balconies mm-hmm. ever? There's oh, they got some on the European ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, the American yeah. mid-rises. No, no balconies. Like, you no get balconies. A, you, get you, you must live. You must live in a pod. You must eat the bugs. You must uh, live in 19th century New York, and you work in a in a garment factory. But, but it's 19th you will, century. You don't have any natural light. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 19th century New York, but we halved the number of windows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's it's see. like, okay, whenever we started building skyscrapers or whatever. Just kidding. We got to pop but, open Steve. Yeah, we, we, I think because, yeah, we're about an hour in. I figure maybe this is the time to go to, here's one I made earlier. Yeah. I feel well, like I, this is like... The, the pace of the game, once you start getting, like, slightly more medium density stuff, the speed at which you unlock new things slows way down because you have yes. to deal with all the problems you've already started with. Yeah. So we, which is very fun. Out from what I remember uh, <coughs> Sim City being like, and that's usually yeah. when I gave up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it, I, I like, liked that part of the game, but if we're trying to show off all these buildings. I mean, some yeah. of us were not meant to be managers. Some of us were meant to be professors. We're here, Holy we're shit, here to 200,000 do... people and Steve? Yeah, I, well, 195,000 and dropping, yeah. <laughs> In the bustling metropolis of Steve. Yes. Oh, my God. So I think the first one I did was Jeff with a G, but uh, that was before they did the update back when we had the uh, the beta. There was one update that broke everything we had before. Um Am I allowed to say that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, are you getting paid by them? Whoa, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. All right. What? So what you Plus can see is... Sorry, there, I can't actually see anything. There's a big garbage problem. You may notice that to start out with. You build uh, a bunch <laughs> of landfills, let them fill up, and just bulldoze the landfill. Well, that's that the thing. I, I know, because I, I foolishly assumed that I could build a lot of incinerators and have that work, and... Well, you can see our incineration facility over here simply refuses to dispatch garbage trucks because they're all filled up. Full. Yeah, because yeah. they don't seem to process any of the garbage. <laughs> that is so insane. <laughs> no, this is some real 19th century shit going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. You just need the landfills, though, because the landfills can just fill up garbage really fast, and then you just bulldoze them, yeah. and the garbage goes away. We don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, so let's... I think I think a fun place to start would be with some of the medium density, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, the mixed-use buildings, right? Yeah. Oh, um, we finally unlocked the mixed-use. Yes. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, Which only have... comes in one flavor. Yeah. By the way. Uh... It's residential, medium-density residential over commercial. Yeah. That's it's one a 5 over 1. How, how about... Well, it's like how... a 12 over 1. How about, over how one. about this guy? Would you like to live here? That's... No. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Why can't they just make a corner unit with like one pocket? I was what about to say there's, there, there must be like a diagonal wall here separating these units, right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, what in the world is going on there? Like how We gotta we gotta send this to Bobby Floor Plants and see what he makes of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now Jane Cork says the smog is just unbearable. We really are living in 19th century. There's smog. Yes. That's from the incinerators that don't work. <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. Actually, like, incinerators, like, rarely work. It's actually a thing I learned. Uh, 
There's like, okay, there is like one normal mixed use building, which is this guy. This one, yeah. yeah. Look, they got the lintels right. Look. Yeah, they got the lintels. The cornice goes the right way. Um, this might be the same. The normal hall. building I've seen yeah. in this entire fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah. oh here here's a favorite of mine. What is going on here? Dude, this is like the twelve <laughs> over one version of Grover House or something. Like It's like that building they built upside down in Detroit. It but... it's, <laughs> it's why like... is there no cornice on the front? Like look, it's just flat. It here's the thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, that is oh wait, no, there's a little bit? I don't know. On the other side, which is also street facing because it's a corner building. But here's your your happen. most oh, no, valuable unit not. here would be your corner unit, and it's like nah, put a big massive brick pillar there. Is, fuck it. What is that? like. <laughs> um, it looks like it has through wall air conditioning units, but you zoom uh, in tax, and they're yeah. actually ornaments. Oh. <laughs> oh what? No, that's that. Yeah. And yeah. There's no like air conditioning up there. There's just like little vents. Yes. Um, it's very, very strange. Um, and it seems to have an unrented commercial doing, space on the ground floor. Yeah. Doing upzoning a service in this game, I have to say. <coughs> Among us. Yeah. Doesn't I feel like this oh. this game is made by like crypto nippies or something. This almost looks normal. It's close. That looks yeah. normal. Yeah. It's almost there. Fairly well, it's normal. It's got that weird, like, like external ABC framework. Building. Yeah. But... It's also got, uh, the fire escape doesn't go to the top floor. Sorry, yeah. penthouse. And all these buildings, when the, when, the, the, when the ground floor storefront is occupied, they put a big billboard on the front. Like, on a roof, I mean. Which is very oh, funny when they're on like narrow streets and all the billboards are just facing each other and no one could see them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, else? it's for you, the player, right? You got to give them bad. that it's for you, the player. That's weird. That's that looks like a... looking building, I have to say. This one shows up almost exclusively all if you time. zone normally. Um... Yeah. It looks like a, like a Holiday Inn. Right, like it looks oh like, like some, yeah. some '90s like hotel. It's like Holiday M, but wow. they removed those most of the windows. windows. Yeah, those have P-Tax and more windows. This has a fire escape with no ladder. So much. Yeah, they're just yeah. Oh my god, there is no ladder. I thought those were just like okay, yeah, shitty balconies or something, but with a big fucking hole. Big in them. hole in them, yeah. And no door. Look at this. Door. And you got, you know, all these all these buildings have massive floor plates too. You know, this is uh, again, uh, we we we've spiritually tried to do a 19th century building, but in a very 21st Inquiry, century right. five over well, one look, style. On the right there, it's got another drive-through hole. Oh yeah, floor on the right. Absolutely. So many of these mid density buildings have like a little bit of parking at the back. Yes. Or the garage entrance is in the back, and you have to drive through the little hole to come around just to drive into the parking garage entrance on the behind the. Okay, okay, but it looks like when we get to the high high density, it starts to look maybe a little normal. Well, maybe it's very normal. very gray. Everything's very gray. This whole game feels gray to me. Wait until nighttime. Yeah, and actually, then you'll see how I'm normal you, these buildings are. I gotta I gotta turn nighttime I'm, on for gotcha. this. Uh, Briefly, at least. Yeah. Honestly, though, like, right, that's yeah. just a reflection of our world. Okay, it's nighttime now. Ah. There's, like, uh -oh. there's no night. Whoa. All right, where's our favorites? This is my, this yeah, genre. this is my favorite of the genre. There's several more that do this subtly. So you can notice some of these windows are illuminated. This is one of those buildings that has, you know, bands of illuminated windows all the way up and down. But some of the windows that are illuminated are quarter height floors. Um, from it's where the floor, it's where the it, actual floor actually is. It yeah, should just it's be it's sort of it's sort of uh, the being John Malkovich floor. Um, That's funny. <coughs> yeah, whoever whoever is texturing these didn't quite. Get uh, how says, that uh, yeah, there's a little uh, little like, little bit of a disconnect yeah. there. 
Uh, these are mostly the high density office buildings, um, yeah, which I think are fine. Most of them. Yeah. yeah, they're actually oh, fine looking. Some of them are weird down at the ground floor a little bit, but the yeah. high density offices make a lot of sense. The high density commercial does not make high a lot density of sense. commercial is some of the most bizarre shit I've seen in my life. Oh my god! What is uh, that? Just like a storage place? No, that's a store. Well, yeah, Wait. I mean, part of the part of it the looks problem like with a storage. Part of the problem with high density commercial as a concept is that. They not only made sense. up the buildings out of whole cloth, they made up the concept for the buildings out of whole cloth. <laughs> like, I don't think there's a, a, a 14 story building that's all shops outside of maybe a couple in Southeast Asia. Um, so, yeah, this is this is North American style high density commercial here. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what could possibly be in there? Um, well, and also the fire escape that just goes down to a lower roof is a, a staple of the genre. Th here. This is apparently a convenience store. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. This is like an inconvenience store. Yeah. Also, very oh, few windows. Rush Hospital. Wait, no, oh, yeah. There's Rush Hospital in Chicago. This is true, yeah. Chicago! Yeah. There's a lot of the ploppable buildings. Yes. Like you can, the subway yard is Jamaica Yard yeah. in New York. I've been uh, trying to find the train station, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, oh, Chicago, Chicago mentioned. But it doesn't have a spot to jam the L straight through it. Yeah, that that, that is the coolest really part does. of yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. I should take that L train at some point. That's oh, the yeah. Uh, medical, yeah, medical it's university. The medical it's university, not yeah. A... You can see again. Oh, no, it is a hospital. There's Only some. House room for gardens here but most of the gardens are taken up by this extension which is an addition yeah um, <laughs> well and you have another extension that goes on top of those for one this one is one of the ones that i'm like most okay with yeah well yeah because it's rush hospital fund. well it's, i mean it's because it's heavily based on a real building and it yeah. doesn't well, yeah there's the why university they do that more yeah they just do that more though like, the university is pen right uh the college is pen the university the college is pen yeah but this is the university. You can see again. There's a lot of gardens here. But if you if you're not satisfied, if you're not satisfied with that, you can add more. <laughs> yeah. The only external upgrade is the university park, which is additional formal gardens onto your giant. How university. does that improve learning outcomes? Right. Uh. Your guess is pass. as good as mine. Yeah. I do like this. Oh, no, speaking Nick. of. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, with the camera there and, like, the river with all the bridges crossing at different angles and everything oh, yeah. being kind of brick-looking, like, you know, it's it's not. Like, once once we get a little more time and a little more art, if anybody's paying attention to the release stream, you'll notice that they teased the uh, some region-themed packs where they're having yeah. 2,500 assets made by people, uh, including myself. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I wonder who Amazing. would be doing that. <laughs> they're better than these. <laughs> Did they mod? Did people say. mod this game a lot, and so that you can have really cool cities. So they will. They modded the shit out of the first one, including Justin and I both getting our start through that. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, they haven't launched mod support yet. It's not done yet. Yeah. So they just launched the rest of the game instead. So this is all you get. Dude, the so. landfills are really funny. Yeah. It works. Yeah. What if this bad boy here? So, this is, I believe. Uh, what's it? Is it the Commerce Bank Tower in Frankfurt? But it's one of them. Yeah, it's it, it's one thing. one of the two. Yeah, they took they took the hat off. Um, I assume oh, because of okay, yeah. I, I assume because of litigious architects. That's the new thing: is architects suing you for using the visage of their buildings in your city no building ground. game. So they have no fucking ground. But yeah. okay. It's been done, uh, but you know you have to. You have to. It's it's just it's more hassle than it's worth, I guess. Did they yeah. fix the icon, or does the icon still show the old building? No, the, the icon still the shows the uh, the still shows it with the hat on. Yeah, with the hat on. Yeah, <laughs> that is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> One of them's just four thirty two park straight up, but um. That, oh Christ! The worst building of all time. There's well, a bit they, of my book about they filled in the park. um. They yeah. filled in the maintenance voids. <laughs> just made them more yeah. apartments, so it's just. Yeah, like it's just gonna thing. fall over though. Like we need all to the way up. Yeah. Uh, 
We've got the Hotel Pennsylvania here. Yep, that is what that is. I there's a bit about for I'm in I'm in the process of selling a book proposal. A bit about for it's about not a big old lot though. Four thirty two yeah. part five. It's got a uh, big fat setback. Big setback. Why yeah. does it have? It doesn't have a setback in real life. They just added one. They just added, oh. yeah. No, it has, it has actually a considerable setback now, and um, you know, to the point where there's no building. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Do you have a welfare office plopped in this thing? Uh, somebody just sent me, somebody found it. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it's somebody over found here. what it is. Where where it's a is... real building. Oh my god, you you're, you've just polluted the hell out of here. Well, I got rid of all the poop pipes over here, but the poop didn't go away. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's just like the real environment. There. There's the there's the welfare office. Yeah, it's. Ooh, it, that's a good one. That's a good building. Yeah, this is actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's based yeah, it off like... of the Burlington County, New Jersey Welfare Department, huh. but they the, the all the octagonal skylights are fabricated. Hmm. But the rest of it is pretty faithful. A uh, person who sent me like this Walmart can Medical I Center. can I say it, who it was? Who was it? I need to see if they're ready to uh, if they're okay with me outing them. As the person, but it's it's a real building. I I can't believe that. Here we have the fully upgraded train station, um, complete with. I need to find what this is. Yeah. That kind of looks like Oslo or Helsinki or something. It's got yeah, that it sort of. Finished. It's got that Scandinavian Art Deco look. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is where. There's a horrible... Well, sometimes there's a horrible pile-up of tourists waiting to get the tram here. Aha, I got permission. Yeah. It's Bad Idea, who ah, was okay. a pro <laughs> prolific modder from uh, Cities 1 and is also working on those region packs, as seen in the video today. Yes. Which means it's public you guys information. Get paid for that labor? Uh, you guys I get don't paid think I'm it? allowed to share oh, okay. information about that. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you weren't being exploited. Yeah, we got we got to look out for each other here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, here's here's a here's a good example of a typical mixed use block. There we go. Uh, what? Wow. Yeah. This board. That is the a same. Bobby Floor Plans building. That is a Bobby Floor Plans building. Yeah. Uh, I guess for those of you on the stream who might not know, Bobby Floor Plans is a Twitter no. user who. Uh, Posts uh, very bad floor plans and shows how they're innovative and so on and so forth. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, all these... I have few en real enemies in life, I feel like. I'm blessed, <laughs> but I feel like that's never been confirmed. Well, the trick is you just got to get... They have to block you. You can't block them. That's my rule. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about like, Twitter harassment. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, ideologically. Uh... <laughs> I mean, like, ideologically. Yeah. <laughs> Like Twitter, like your guesses. Yeah. Here's some of the Coward. here's some of the uh, residential high density buildings. It, that's it's so weird. These it, look so much the, like uh, some weird public housing development. <laughs> they just said, okay, let's stack three of let's, them on uh, top. Let's of stack each other. three public housing buildings on top of each other. Yeah. I feel like this is like almost a racist caricature of like what housing looks like in Singapore. It's bananas. And the yeah. fact that they can grow so close to each other like that, like if there's any time to have a big wedding cake shaped building or, you know, a a, po a, a big, you know, three, four story podium with a little parking garage in it, the gym, the pool, the whatever for all this high density housing. Yeah. And got, then whack up a narrow tower. You got at least balconies are close enough that I'm sure some kids are trying to jump from one to the other and dying horribly in the attempt. Do like a cup phone. <laughs> yeah. Across. <laughs> Some cups and string. Uh, this is the it college. Is so weird. Yeah, that's Penn. That is that is University of Pennsylvania straight up, yeah. That is Penn, yeah. So you've, yeah. St you've stretched it. You, you it did is the a stretch, Penn. I did the upgrade on it. A couple, a couple <laughs> uh, little towers. You can't remove the upgrade. You have to delete the entire thing. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, once you upgrade something that's on there forever, and you have to demolish the whole building if you want to demolish the. Upgrade. I guess that's okay. That's yeah. some logic, but okay. 
Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Right. God, there's no way to get gas. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say. Circling the block for hours. That is so funny. That's it's like a ga- it's like they ghettoize petroleum. <laughs> this is the gasoline district. It's like it's like being from like the hood, but like it's the gasoline hood. Here's some gas stations stratified by vertical cliff. distance, yeah. What? Why are they all gas stations? That's just absurd. That I, doesn't make any sense. Look at all the cars. Like, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, there's a lot, a lot of taxis here. All these taxis. Yeah, I, I did gas not. Gas or what? Did not do well with this intersection here. Um, uh, <clears throat> the traffic does seem to be very cyclical. Um, here is something. That's the intelligence. Bureau, the Central right? Intelligence yeah. Bureau. Yeah. I think okay, I don't. This is a real building too. Somebody found it. I don't know what yeah. it is, and it doesn't look quite like this, but like, it's very strange. It's... No, it's no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, uh, here, here you can MI6 see. Is postmodern. Sort of what happens MI6 when you too cool. Here you can see sort of what Dueling happens. Schools? There's a school. There's a school. There's a school. There's a school. These still can't keep up. Keep up with the amount of kids. People are having too many kids in this city. There's a school. Um, there's a college and a college and a high school and another school back there. Um, and multiple colleges. Yeah, this is, I think I'm up to like, well, if you go into the education panel, you can see that I'm just barely managing with elementary schools. High schools are fine for some reason, but I need to build oh, just... about 30 more colleges. <laughs> But like, it it would be nice to have some bigger service buildings for when you get up to like larger populations, you know. Can you yeah, like I look, look at all that. those pink buildings? Your 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 city is like fifteen percent school by weight. Yes, that's crazy. There's got to be a way to like make a bigger fucking school or at right. least like a college campus, like a real one, like a huge one that you can see from space. Well, we there need, is. And it's by the college's DLC for City Skylines 1. Yeah, I was about to say, we got we to gotta get the modding tools before we can try and attempt to solve this problem. Um, what is all this brown stuff? Is this human shit? Uh, farms. This is farms. Oh. Yeah. Uh, There's only one texture for farms, whether it's... All yeah. different types. And you can see on the right, there's a, there's grain, a type that just runs random outbuildings all over yeah. the zone. This is livestock. Like farmers do. Also livestock. That's totally a rational way of allocating resources, especially yeah. if you have to like kill fields or something. It's also very yeah. small amounts of fertile land on the on the map, so I would put this further out, but there's nowhere to put it further out. Um Yeah, yeah, you have these specialized... And then there's the landfill. <laughs> yeah. Well oh, over it here. Exploded. Over here the is population's uh, way up. Oh yeah. Over here, you can see our wonderful bucket wheel excavator. Um, Tiger two eight eight baby, yeah, which is just uh, returning favorite. But it's just getting rock out of the ground. Um, that is what it does, though. This is true. All right, rip up the overburden. We have a shaft Oil. mine here. Oh no, this Price is. To the point. Yeah. No, the oil is over here. Um, as you can see, this is not a well-organized city. I just kind of sort of min-maxed it to see how big I could get it before the game released. <laughs> I was just trying to get all the achievements, you know? <laughs> but didn't, but didn't... also, like, my question is... Many questions. Like, but also, how is this a city of 206 people, but it looks like it should be a city of, like, 200, two, like, million people? How, there's no way only 206,000 people live in a city that looks like this. It looks like fucking Manhattan. It's not uh, very big, though. Yeah, it's not very big. I mean, if you look at the the actual... Uh, how much space do we have? Look at all those fucking landfills. Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, this is... this is uh, Again, I, I would love if the garbage worked, but I can't figure out why it isn't, other than maybe the garbage just doesn't work. Um <laughs> I think the garbage just doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, here, here's a fun one. 
also having a garbage oh, problem. Oh god, <laughs> it is the the airport this is so bad? The international airport. This is the international airport. Yeah, a ro a rotunda based airport like is such a nineteen fifties IKEA. But this is well, the Singapore this is, airport. This is yeah the Singapore oh, airport with Singapore. the weird fountain. Yeah, yeah I see. <laughs> I see now. Sorry, it like yeah. doesn't take. It just got zoomed in. Yeah, but it, if you look inside, you can put the camera inside this yes. middle section. Heck. And oh, sure enough, it's just like a weird park in the middle it's of the weird, airport. Weird, weird. Yeah, but that is what Singapore is, isn't it? A this weird is true. Terraced yeah. park in the middle of the airport. I don't know. I, I think it's the most beautiful airport in the world. I don't yeah, believe I don't them. Know. Uh, I like Dulles Airport more. Uh, that's a very that, pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good building. The uh, swoop when you get in is like just choice. I mean, yes, it's very strange. Here, here's our industry area near the port. The port is Cargo Harbor, two hundred feet yeah, off the surface. Two hundred feet <laughs> off the water. Yeah, I probably could have fixed that, but didn't do that. We have our freight train coming in. Exciting. Uh, Ooh, locomotive's leading. It's not doing its full speed, unprotected shove. Not yet. It will in a second. Do you get to see car wrecks happen? Yes. Oh, yeah. That is a new feature. And they, they are like fully physics in it. Like one car will go into like crash mode and then it's like burnout. Like it'll plow through and smash into other cars. It'll hit buildings. It'll hit stuff. It'll jump around. It'll get air. It's great. Wow, that's cinematic. Car crash, yeah, huge up. If you can actually catch a car crash in this game, huge upgrade. Uh, over the first <coughs> one, which cars they, just they should inform crash. you slightly before it happens so you can watch. It'd be nice. You can <laughs> watch it because clearly they put a lot of time into trying to make it work. Yeah, so this is a, a nice upgrade from the original game where the freight trains all look the same, regardless of what they were carrying. Uh, but they still have some problems, which I don't like, which we will see in a second. <laughs> I don't know enough about trains to diagnose this. Uh, you're going to notice they... what's wrong in a second. <laughs> oh, they... the okay. truck drives through them. So we unload. No. no, no, here's the real problem. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Right back onto the main Backing line. Backing up. Right onto the main line, backwards. <laughs> what? That's not good. Don't do yeah, that. I, I would not recommend this. I think what's interesting as well is um, all the overhead... All the, all the train track in this game is overhead wire. Yes. There's nothing you can do to remove that. That means, additionally, the train track right underneath that harbor crane, where all the unloading has to happen, also has overhead wires. Yes. Doesn't work like that, guys. You can't uh, do it. Somebody's going to find out the hard way. Dynamic brake radiators got plated over. Um, yeah, you don't you don't need the radiator. The passenger trains are kind of fun because you can see the pantograph go. I really like that. Yeah. Do you notice they're on um, Bettendorf trucks? They're oh, like God. Standard, standard barbers. Oh, God. Imagine the hunting. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, like a, on a high-speed train? Or whatever. Yeah, wherever wherever yeah. these things are, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even, even the power trucks, which means they're probably those weird old chain drive export unit things. But like Stupid me, when hole. I first started with this game, they modeled one set of train wheels and thought, yeah, that's that, fine. That's a train wheel. Where the hell? Oh, there's my train. Okay. Yeah. But we've completely lost Kate with this train talk. I was about to say. Oh, yeah. I don't know anything yeah. about trains, except for I like them very much. <laughs> But the pantographs being fully animated is pretty neat. It's really nice, yeah, except this one's down. It'll be it'll it jumps up when it becomes the lead <laughs> car. It's like fully animated for that. Well, that's the opposite cool of what do you want? You want the rear pantograph up. Generally speaking. Yeah. But whatever. Uh you can use the cinematic camera if you want to like get really into it. Uh there you go. Uh oh there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, it is in fact up. Um, I had a situation a couple hours ago where every flight that was coming in was about one oh, to God. one. It was like a one it's to one to proportion between. Uh, While we're here, look at some of these people. Oh yeah. 
Look it's an interesting choice. So you can zoom way in on that cinematic camera with yeah. the um, the Heck. field of view. Are there literally oh. just like no fat people in this game? Well, well, it's designed by Finns. They have some very attractive people over there, and some unattractive people too, actually. But, but, but... so zoom into some of these faces. They are uh, wild. This wait, is also, like, yeah. Uh, so they used some dynamic software to generate some of these people. And uh, that guy's pretty normal. This guy. There's some weird. I don't know. Guys. This this guy. I don't trust this guy. These are pretty normal. Okay. There we Got go. Got some folks with uh, yeah. hair color. Uh, I definitely have met people at noise shows who look like that. Yeah. Okay, um, there's one fat person. There's so one fat person. That that does reflect Finnish. Not an incredibly diverse crowd, it seems. I, That's I've, also I've, very similar. I've definitely seen some more diversity in the crowds, but it's definitely yeah. made. Yeah. These it's trains weird. are all bunching are here. Weird. I don't know why. What was very funny is a cup for a couple hours earlier today, every plane that came in was like a one to one ratio of people versus dogs. Um, so this entire platform was just straight up dogs waiting to get on the train. What dogs? Uh, let's see if I can find one. There was one on the platform. Yeah, there was the definitely train. one. There was not 40 of there's a dog. There's, there's, there's two, two dogs. dogs. Leashless, too. Yeah, I was about to say, there's very, very bad leash loss in this game, I've noticed. <laughs> uh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of dogs. Three dogs. Uh, send this one to Gareth for uh, Rate My Buffers. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a fun... Um... <coughs> A fun one more train thing, and then we can go back to the buildings. the The way they program just one more, have just like, one more. They have like headlights and high beams on the trains, which is well, they have it for like all the vehicles. You can see that like the upper light it becomes the high beam. Yeah. Uh, on this, on the freight train, the headlight is the high beam, and the ditch lights are the headlights. Fun. So when they come to a crossing <laughs> or pass another train, they turn the headlight off and leave the ditch lights on. Viewers, this is this is the stuff back that back. keeps us awake at night. Truly, <laughs> it's that stuff, and then I go, yeah. oh, and I can't mod this yet to yeah. fix it. Okay. I have to know like that the lentils are upside down. This is like yeah. there's there's whole cornices upside down. There's the upside oh, down cornices. The cornices. Yeah, yeah. we got the. I mean, there's lentils upside down too. That is in drawings, actually, like <laughs> illustrations. Like, it's, it's actually quite common. It's like a confusing... It's it's something that confuses the human mind until you've drank the poison of architecture, especially 19th century architecture. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, 19th century architecture. Is, yeah. yeah. Somebody asks, how's yeah. the game's architecture rate overall for ADA compliance? Uh, bad. Bad. A lot oh. of buildings that just have, that have staircases is the only entrance. I want to I want to draw your attention to Commerce Bank Tower here which uh just changed color. Um Yeah, somebody we... else moved in. Wait. Yeah. Oh, is that why it's changing color? Yeah. Wow, so, that's... Uh, one <laughs> actually cool thing that they do is the like each brand has its own brand colors and they will repaint the buildings when they move in, which is kind of neat. It's a lot of work on this thing. <laughs> on that thing it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, Usually it's just like a little bit of trim. Here's the police Ooh. headquarters. A lot of formal gardens. <coughs> yes. You need that to go relax from your hard day policing. <laughs> okay, where's the nearest donut shop, though? Where is the nearest donut shop? I should have zoned for donut shops right there. They'd probably be making a lot of money. What is the zone? I right? literally saw a cop eating a donut this morning, and I had to laugh. I was like, that's from TV. <laughs> nice try. They did the thing they All do right. on the television. I know, that was like my reaction. <laughs> I think it's time. on a fire hydrant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, come on. Don't play in the stereotypes. Let's look some more of this high-density commercial. Oh, it's I was the about most to say, yeah. 
So we got, oh yeah, I guess high density commercial. I have to go find that. The commercial's the most. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is strange. I don't under, the, the way the shades have been implemented, I don't like it because they're, they, they don't seem to be consistent at all. Um, is this the one? Oh, this is the building with the tubes. Yeah, with the tubes. It just has ducts that go all the way up to the top floor and then down oh, to the bottom yes. floor. This is like our Pompidou Center, and it's called Baxu. <laughs> yeah, it's that's a uh, it's like a drinks store. It's like they sell Yaxu is yeah. a beverage from the Yaxu yeah. sells beverages. Okay, yeah, because they sell I a lot of beverages. Twelve stories of beverage selling. Like, <laughs> Twelve okay. stories of beverages. This one is the Limsa Bar. A plausible commercial. That's commercial another bar. Movie. Limsa Bar we saw. That's just like yeah. a bar. Right? Needs uh, beverages, sells entertainment or whatever. It just says sells beverages here. Uh, this oh, one okay. also has a billboard oh. that's facing a wall. Um, we again have more so ducks. So much genius happening here. More, more ducks on the side of the building. Um, very strange roof access here because, you know, you can go, you can go on a roof, but you can go up a little bit more. Uh, Maybe that's yeah, the like, elevator <laughs> shaft. Stair roof access on to the top of the elevator. So. Doesn't line up with how the windows are, but that's too much to ask. Uh, There's a lot of these for when you look closer. Like the the driveway entrance has a big window immediately adjacent to it on the other side. That's a, I'm something. sorry, this one cannot possibly appear. That is a telephone switching building. This, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, especially with the shades closed like that, uh, that, that does look like a telephone switching building. Uh, this ladder is not safe, both because of its not length connected. and because it's of broken. it's broken. Yeah, one of these has a really bad ladder on them. Uh, all these have wooden water towers, which uh, which like why though is like the it's just you pick like disparate like signifiers of urban life and just kind of randomly assign them to things. Well, nilly. they still put wooden water towers on new buildings in uh, New York City. New York, yeah. Uh, really? Because, yeah, because the yellow one. Oh, the yellow one is a weird one, yeah. Um, yeah, New York has some weird weird old laws on the books that make it really hard to do a more modern water tower. Type yeah, because you can just haul all the pieces up in the elevator and you just replace it every yeah. couple of years. Build them on Builds top. up natural yeah. bacteria that protects the water, like just a layer of algae in there. It's weird, but it works. <laughs> wow, I didn't know yeah. that. They're all made in so Philly, things, too. Every time I talk to you, I really do. <laughs> like, I think everything I know yeah. about trains is from you. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is they're all made in Philly, um, but we don't use them here. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Yeah. What is this guy? In... This another is shop. weird. Um, if I can another turn shop. on night mode again, you might see some of the weird stuff about it, but I think it might not be night in game at the moment. I may be able Feels to. Feels like it's game. Oop, almost. Uh, almost. I Close. can use a that cinematic camera for that. I think. Maybe. Yes, you can. You might need to keep day night visuals yeah. on though. Uh, uh, um. Clock. Clock. Oh, that would make sense. I know that. Yeah. There we go. Time of day. You don't even have to type. You can. I think middle middle mouse and drag. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Eck. And that does the weird thing. Okay. What? It's just like, uh, okay, the center actually... is just not lit. <coughs> huh. It this might sometime. not be the one I was thinking of, actually. They'll turn on and off. There's at least oh, one of these yeah, where... The... Oh, my God. Look, there's a candle in there, which is... What? What? Three stories right. tall. <laughs> It's just a room, but the rooms are all defined yeah. by like windows that are yeah. near each other. It seems. So it just since there's only one yeah. like coplanar window there, it's just a really yeah. narrow little room. Really bizarre. Yeah, that story. Okay, but in your probably... defense, like plastic hold does sound like maybe a thing that could exist. Yeah, I believe that's was... a plastics manufacturer. Yeah, it just sells they, consumer. They, so they, they make yeah, they make tchotchkes. They make giant candles and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, there's one that looks like sort of this weird Japanese Pomo building. Um, yeah. If I can find one somewhere. Because um, it's not this one, but it looks sort of similar. Uh... A lot of these buildings look weirdly Japanese. Well, yeah, again, you're trying to the come American up. Team. You're trying to come up with this idea of uh, uh, high density commercial, which doesn't really yeah. exist. Ooh, it, here's one of the ones that's like four four partition walls on the oh, corner here. On the corner, yeah, this guy. Yeah, this is weird. I know this. Yeah, with like the blown out bottom four floors well it's like and then a weird tenement on top it's a yeah it's a 19th century tenement on the top floor floors and then then something else happened something transported this building on top of the other one <laughs> yeah they comes with it comes as two buildings clipped together yeah no move it required that's weird that's a fairly common one um hmm this one with the big blank spot right on the front, that giant cube. Oh, oh, this I thing. I swear to God, that's inspired by, like, the Second Avenue subway ventilation buildings. This is a very strange building. Um, you know, it's just like, well, that we're, is really we're just going to deny views to everyone on the top four floors. No windows for you. Go away. Is this the one with the Yeah, well, that's so bizarre. <laughs> But they're all in the back? Okay. Yeah. Is it, yeah. The back of the building is the front of the building. Those little deco-looking ones are kind of nice, the L-shaped one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these, go these are all right. These are fine, yeah. Very, like, SimCity filler building. Is this one? This is a very this unsafe one? ladder. This is the ladder, yeah. This is the ladder. That is an unhinged ladder. I mean, really. <laughs> what is going on with, like, the... the, the the gutters also on the side or like yeah. are they pipes i can't tell sorry it's those like really pipes. low res yeah it looks it looks uh, internet is bad. those are pipes those are some kind of pipes well it says they sell chemicals so maybe that's where the chemicals go <laughs> <laughs> it's weird i do like yeah. the high density commercial immediately adjacent to the uh farm Oh, over here. That's, this is like giving Austin, Texas. That that. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> NFPA seven hundred four diamond used improperly. That's mm. correct. Uh, what is it? We got the hospital, which is very white. Um, which is real. Somebody posted that. I don't know where it is, but somebody huh. posted that. That's a real hospital. Well, it seems to be one of the it only buildings. Like could... This is like one of the only buildings with a splash of color. Very dead. <laughs> Yeah. It's where? I don't know what it is, but it looks very Dutch. I mean, the architecture. Yeah, it might, it might be. It's very, like, modern European. Just boxy and painted. <coughs> uh, what else do we have? Well, there is the bronze statue, which looks like a, a certain guy. Um... You know, a certain guy who it looks like Lenin. Yeah, yep. it, it looks like it looks like it looks like because he's also wearing a toga, so it's like Greek Lenin. Um, it's Greek Lenin who's yeah. the Statue of Liberty for some reason. Okay, who's yeah, on the Statue base. of Liberty base? Yeah, exactly. It's Greek. It's Greek. Uh, it's 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 uh, Vlad Leninopoulos. Uh, <laughs> it, it also very funnily looks like um, they put the. They put. They tried to make it look a little bit like the art director of the game, but well, I don't think like they Lennon. quite pulled it off. Yeah, he kind of uh, looks like Patrick like, Stewart, like, like playing Lennon. Yeah, like Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust the and liberals. He is pondering his orb. <laughs> he is pondering the orb. Yeah, <laughs> it's a globe. If you zoom in close enough, it is a globe. It's, yeah, it's Lennon holding capital. Yes. pondering the globe. Well, yeah. I oh, bet, there, like, there's a little bit of detail on the see, book. Like, yeah, this is. It says no. GDD. God damn it, <laughs> God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That subway station in front of him, the ground level metro station, oh, yeah. is wild. Yeah. It's a weird it's one, weird. yeah. Well, it reminds me of all like the. Real. It reminds me of the cross rail stations that are all like encased in concrete, so they can be built over again, in the future. Yeah. City planner player says the statues. Think about if he's looking at a basketball. He's <laughs> <laughs> holding up a basketball. He's about to make the most insane fast break you've ever yeah. seen somebody in a toga do. Yeah, he's doing philosophy on, you know, the forms are immaterial, much like your game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh god, what else? We're we're run, starting to run out of stuff here. But I feel like we're going to we're I'm going to we're I'm going to miss something and kick myself for it. They have some of these Where's like Where's the McMansions? Where are the McMansions? Oh yeah. That is a good yeah, question. Where's, where's your signature signature low density residential? What How about this guy? My boy. This is <laughs> that's kind of slay honestly. California. Ooh, look at the Ephus sighting. Okay. Yeah. This is the oh, European Lord. style low density housing. I'd imagine if you've been building this for a while, these are probably all the higher level, like fancier looking ones. Too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this no. is like level mid, three. Mid level. Yeah, yeah. No, my city's not nice enough for anyone to level up. Um, <laughs> it's too many garbage problems. Yeah, exactly. What are, the, what are the metro trains based off of? They are, I say like <coughs> Chongqing or something. It's one of these like Chinese cities that you've never heard of that has 25 million people living in it. Mm. What else we got? We got similar but one level. We got oh, these Dutch there. Dutch gables here, like barn stuff. It kind of looks like a split level. Uh, I like how they have a matching barn ADU back there. Do they? Oh yeah, <laughs> they do. That's kind of cute. Yeah, actually, I've these are cute. Like, the single family residential is like better than anything else in this game yeah. which is like also like supporting my crypto nimby uh, <laughs> agenda <laughs> yeah this is like yeah this is actually all just made by nimbies who want you to like revel in the superiority of like where they made every like hot molten like mid mid rise like build <laughs> yeah you'll mid you'll notice yeah You'll notice, ugly shit. Yeah. you'll notice that the zoning is split by density demand and the low density residential demand is basically pegged at 100 <laughs> 100 of the time yes what the city skylines 2 cannot get enough sprawl they they it, they it love, hungers for sprawl they love their single family houses folks what else we got they that's these are the higher. Is there level. a way to show your signature buildings? Because there's a signature building on the right there, and the signature there, buildings are quite nice. Yeah, some of them are good. Some of them are weird. Some of them are a little weird, but like this one is fine. fine. That's like a nice, yeah. nice modern residential oh, tower. Yeah. Like, why doesn't the global residential stuff look like that? Yeah, that's why I don't understand. Right? It's like that's totally a normal building. Yeah. Or if that's like too big for the size or whatever, just like chop the back one section shorter. It's still a normal building. You got all the balconies. You got whatever. You know, they lose the pool. Just make it like a hot tub or something. This you don't need a helipad. is a ludicrously dangerous helipad. Actually, wait. Is that called the Figueroa building? That's the the, the fig, or, Figura building. Figura. I bet that's a Figueroa building in L.A. <laughs> and it requires the helipad. That is that's a ludicrously. Funny. You can't. You. <laughs> you, you yeah, you couldn't do yeah, that. Man. Yeah, I was about to but, say you're you're gonna you're gonna put the blades into a wall. <laughs> There are a lot of extremely dangerous helipads on some of these, on some of the high density stuff too. Well, I mean, in LA, I suppose they put them on because they're legally required to, but they're never going to use them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where else do we have? Signature building, signature building. I believe they jammed a helipad inside the false, like, uh, chiller cover at the top of the 432 park. Wow. Building. Hmm. Where are these? Is there any way to like search for the signature buildings? I still have... There's one. Yeah, this is one of them. It's neat. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, it's like, what if it's an Italian at building, it. but it's all blue? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's like that hotel in Toronto that everyone got mad about. I can, again, for most of these signatures, I, I have a sneaking suspicion just because the architecture is pretty much universally a lot better, except on like one side per building. 
Like I, I'm pretty damn sure that these are real buildings. Yeah. And then they just have to yeah, like, make I, like, I also of think of them. That, look, that one's yeah. really nice. It's like this is really nice. nice yeah. This is <coughs> inexplicably. This is the signature row house. Mm -hmm. Not a row house. That is not a row house. Not even close to a no. row house. But it's There's a really no nice world. building. There's another There's one. House. There's another one nearby. I can smell it. Whatever menu yeah. you had open pointed yeah. them all out. Yeah. Okay, it's over here. Yeah. Which is just it's tiny. This is... Why isn't that just a normal like high level growable thing? Just like the modern shitty townhouse. Look at the building next to it though. Look at it's this got a, it's got, <laughs> the a hole. got a windows on this dude. Got a it's, hole through it. It's got a hole in it, yeah. I wanna Oops. get that patched up. <laughs> yeah, look at the look pattern at of the one. windows on that thing. Oh. To the left. What the hell is going on here? It's the front of the building too. Now. It's like Swiss cheese, dog. What are we doing here? Guys? Every, yeah, every sixth apartment. No window for you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, God. And then the, still the weird like drive-through entry to a deep first floor parking garage. Fire escapes? You know, the no fire escape. plants on Earth are going on in fire there. Escape? Like... No fire no. escape. <laughs> fire escape? You're fucking smothered in there. <laughs> It's nice to be back onto the school, though. Yeah. It's like prison looking buildings. It's crazy. Yeah. We <laughs> just called that the Minesweeper building. That's so funny. I like it. <laughs> what else do we got? Uh, More signatures. Do they show? They must show all get? of them, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's another, another signature another row house. Row house. Again, Which, no, not a row house, but like, let these just grow. Like, what's the problem with having? I a know that here? one is real. I know that one is real. I'm trying to think of where that one is, though. Amsterdam. Yes, something like that. Somewhere like that. Yeah. It's interesting that you get you 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 know different floors get completely different lighting regimes here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You choose if you're a morning person or an evening person first. Yeah. That's what happens when you have abundant housing. <laughs> uh, I think this is a signature building. Yeah, that's that one. Okay. It's fine. Ephus Gothic or whatever. Ephus Gothic. It has another formal garden. Hell of a fountain. Yeah. I feel like that's Jesus, like a retirement man. community that's building, right? That's magisterial. Yeah. <laughs> Right, like that's a retire thing. It's if you look really closely, it's all step free the whole way through. Uh, except you know, right there. Gonna, except for the stairs. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, no handicapped people allowed. Um, <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, we got that one. Uh, we got that one. Uh, I must have stuck. Oh, there's something over here. Which is? Oh, that's right. This one's weird. This one's kind of weird. It reminds me of the Philadelphia Bourse, but it's not that. Yeah. This is the Kane Residences. Ah, uh, it's one of the mixed use signatures. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like the only good looking mixed use building we've seen this yeah. entire time. Yeah, I, I was about to it's say. It's weirdly yeah. scaled, but it's like it's got all the right types of detail for the building it's trying to be, and since it's wall to wall and it's lot. It has actual blank partition walls, yes. like it should. It like it try should. to chant, grant, try to jam any extra windows. The back of this building looks more like the front of a building than most of yeah. the fronts of the growables do. <laughs> yeah, but I think there's some. Is this? I do have some of the mixed-use European buildings. We didn't look at any of those. We also have the high-rise European buildings over here, which are grim. <laughs> Just weird. <laughs> Look at one building, developers. I beg you. I, what are these balconies? Facing? That's that's Dude, very. What is going on here? These are like <laughs> like a two-story kind of like. Yeah, they just stretched up like a four-story of... little thing to twenty stories and said, "We're good." Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. It's like you took like kind of <coughs> early. British, or like sort of like pre-brutalist British public housing, like new humanism, I think it was called. 
Like, and then you just blew that up into like a four hundred story building. Doesn't make any sense. And I guarantee you, looking at most of the art, there isn't like a really nice four story version of this, right? Like, I get it. Game art is hard. As somebody who's yeah. been making game art later, yeah, these it's buildings, hard, these buildings were created by workers. Um. <laughs> yeah, you need a lot of it. Which means, like, why, like, what system did they do that required all this, like, bespoke modeling for all these different parts that also still results in so little variety? The, the variety, so weird. the variety leaves a lot to be desired. And I mean, again, this is something that it is our duty as the modders to fix as soon as we can. Um, for, for free. Yeah, for Largely free, for exactly. Free. Largely for free. Once the platform's <laughs> out, they're going to be like, whoa, look at all these people making better stuff. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm doing it myself. I'm falling victim to it. Yeah, I have a yeah. list of 60. I, I looked at the traffic. I'm like, there's not enough car variety here. Yeah. Platted out a little thing, planned it out, made a spreadsheet. I've got 60 cars to model for this damn thing now until oh I'm God. happy. <laughs> But yeah, like, this, this is some of the European mixed doing? use, which I think definitely more variety Better. than the American stuff. Still some weird design choices. Uh, is this a signature? No, it's not. Oh, you got some of these Dutch style, Dutch-ish style. Oh, those are kind of cute with yeah. the little Dutch gables. Yeah, those yeah. are normal. Those are normal looking. Yeah. Okay, those are reasonable like buildings yeah, that, that that's could a normal. exist. Oh, that reminds Bro me. We do need up. to look at the one that's on the preview image for this stream. Yeah, well, that's one of the signatures that we should take a look at. Yeah, where is the Rockstar House? Where did I put it? Somewhere stupid, if I recall correctly. Ah, there it is. All right. So this is, I think, the most McMansion-y building in the game. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Look at that fucker. That's amazing. <laughs> Only a one car garage, though. <laughs> wow, yeah, that yeah. is actually, yeah. that's not enough garage. Look at all that lawn you could have been using for garage, really. Yes. I mean, I really like this this weird hitch roof for no reason, like, yes, the, in the, the corner. <laughs> notice the roof also, there's some vertical shingling here. Um, yeah, what is, why is there a ladder? That's for roof. It's to access your catwalk. Oh, yeah, so you can, you can get up on the catwalk that you have on a roof of your single family house. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I like the person, chimney. The chimney. There's 18 person table there. At the, There's at the back. no windows. No windows. At all. Well, to be fair, that little thing on the very left is the garage. But okay, there is yeah. also no windows at all. No window there. And There's some there. Um, there's an implied second floor with a that only has one window at the back there and i think and, only and one, at the one front. window at the so, front and then this yeah. weird window here in the lawyer the foyer tour. um this is only slightly worse than real mcmansions though i mean in terms of the logic um this is where you're going to have a leak this is where you're going to have a leak this is where you're going to have a leak um, <laughs> what is that roof on the side is so bizarre like yeah. how did that I just it's it, just shaved off. It's just shaved off, yeah. <laughs> this is where you're gonna have a leak. Oh my god. That's definitely where you're gonna have a leak. <laughs> <laughs> we have never heard of flashing in our entire lives. Which is bizarre because with the buildings that I've been making for something, flashing is such a perfect way to hide any like mm -hmm. sin. You fuck up the model, you yeah. fuck up the texturing. Yeah. You just put a big piece of flashing. Big piece down the of flashing there. And you Boom. are golden. Doesn't matter. Ooh, wait a minute. The UVs aren't it's like the textures don't line up, so I'd have to line up all these shingles and things. That's a lot of work. Fuck it. Big piece of flashing. Flashing. Done. It's Boom. what they do Done. in real life. True. Yeah. So the fact that this insane roof line exists with no flashing is like an achievement. Good job. Just, yeah. It's also gonna leak. Yeah. It is gonna leak like crazy. Like flashing has a purpose. It's to hide UV fuck ups. Yeah, I believe yeah. this is the theater actor mansion. Another signature building. Theater actors uh, can't afford houses. I was about to say, yeah. Maybe it could be Patrick Stewart Worst or something. Signature building I've seen actually, like. Yeah, it looks no, pretty right. normal. Uh huh. What else? 
Okay, there's a couple more. I gotta turn on the zoning view again. Okay, yeah. there's another pretty another normal house. modern row house. Well, they call it a row what? house. It's clearly an apartment building. That's not a row house. That is like, why are there no windows on this? Okay, never mind. Well, just let that grow. That's just a party let that wall. Just be a growable building. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, no rear L's on of any of these row on any of the row house buildings I have noticed, which seems to indicate well. You know, I guess the other weird thing is I, I've noticed this in the old game. It was very, very difficult to model row houses just because the minimum lot width was eight meters, you know, about 24 feet or so, um, which is just wide enough. You can't put one Philly row house in there, but just narrow enough. You definitely can't squeeze two in. <laughs> I think you can do two or three in two wide. though. I did right? three in two wide and it was annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Well, no, I had to do six in three wide. Uh, no, not six. Four in three wide. Four in Otherwise, three, the yeah. L's didn't work properly. Ah. Because yeah. they're mirrored every every other house. So if you do three, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Same, same problem this game. Minimum width yeah. is eight meters. Oh, here's one that collapsed. Oh, it burned down. Yeah, we're going to rebuild that. Boink. Oops. Yeah. This one's weird because it's a nice looking building, but it is we're called the Old Factory Old Condos. Old Factory Condos. Look at that. That's not an old factory. Because, what is happening? No, that is a 2000. That. That's like 2006. Factory. The coining. That's not how that works. The, 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 yeah, coins. the coins here are <laughs> very strange. <laughs> also, having having looked at this now, the number of materials and things used all over these that are just the default substance painter materials is crazy. Like, I'm all about using your tools, but I'm recognizing a lot of these as the built-in ones that it comes with. Got a nice pediment. It has a little design in here. Um, you nice. got a... Definitely not a factory, and that has never ever been a factory. No, I mean no, this is. No, that was built in two thousand six. Yeah, I was about to say this is a building that could not uh, have existed then. Certainly the not freestanding at like that. Place. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a lofts at kind of place. Oh yeah, the lofts at old factory. Yeah. Oh, hold on, we got a uh, somewhere around here. I stuck a fun one, which I kind of like. Uh. Do you guy, like yeah. Do you like Michael Graves? <laughs> Is this supposed to be a library? Is that supposed to be Harold Washington Library, but without no, bullshit? A, housing. Yeah, they call it Rubik Apartments. Totally. It, it just has Washington Library, but without yeah. any of the cool details. It has it has that sort of you know Michael Graves style of decoration. Um, you know, you got the polychromatic stone stone on the base here. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I kind of like did not design Holy <coughs> I don't remember who did. I should have done that, but this is definitely based off of that. The whole building being it's a big also, hexagon is it really is a weird, weird hexagon, yeah. Big pain in the ass to have to fit furniture when your walls are 85 degree angles. <laughs> uh, I like that building though. A lot of the signature buildings are really nice. Yeah, a lot of the signature buildings are pretty good, and some of them are pretty weird. A few of the signature buildings are weird. They and should all be signature buildings. Most of the zoned buildings are really weird. Yeah. Do you like the Federal Reserve? It's the bank. The, it's the yeah, Central Federal Bank Reserve. building. It's the Central Bank. Which is and they did of... the National Gallery of... Sorry. It... Oh. Sort of much of a muchness here, and you know, I just it, it that is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the landmarks is the National Gallery of Art from D.C., which is wild because it's in the no satellite image, no fly zone, so it's so hard to get reference for, and I do not know why anybody picked that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. There, you could have picked it several different. You could have done the Cleveland Museum if of you, Art. If you need an art museum, Here's... just do like the freaking Met, and you're Here... done. Here's right? a car wreck. Easy. No, but you could have done the Cleveland Museum of Art by Maria Botto, which is like looks like a zebra. There's there's another car in the woods over there too. Oh god. You pan the camera down. Oh Dude, yeah, sure. Yeah, and it's on it? fire. They set the they set, the started a forest. Oh no. The fire truck got there. Fire truck's got here. Yeah. Yeah. 
So fire's over, but aftermath of a nasty car wreck. You know what? There's a building we do have to unlock. Um, Lincoln Center. Yeah, I, I was about to say, Kate, you might Lincoln recognize. Center? Yeah. yeah. It's sorry, that, at least spoiled it. That that yeah, that is, I believe, Avery Fisher Hall. Yeah. It is Russia. Avery Fisher Hall. If there's Russia one building, building <laughs> on God's fucking earth, I know better than any other building. It is that one. It's a commercial building, though. You just yeah. put it, and it's a it's a store. It's a big store. They ripped out all the important stuff. Well, it says and I then need. The, the, I need level five. If you five. reload, you can. Yeah, if I reload, I can just I can just plop it. You can it. turn on unlock all. Yeah, shit. Let's do that. Map options. Unlock all. I am God. Is it? Uh, I am the CEO of McDonald. I'm Douglas. the C I am the CEO of McDonald Douglas. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, and now you can plop 432 Park too. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, where are we put an Avery Fisher? Uh, I'm gonna put it next to Lennon. Yeah, we can put it. In... Well, we're not gonna get a good look at it because it's so dense. That's over true. There. That's true. <coughs> we'll put it next to the park here. Play. And they hate you and for Boom. It. There she is. That is Avery Fisher turned into a mall. That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Avery Fisher Mall. <laughs> yeah. <They> may... <laughs> What's interesting, so there's three high density commercial signature buildings. This is one of them. The second one is a pretty pretty competent not, yeah, this marvelous marble thing. Oh, not oh, a yeah, I think... building. I have far right. and away one of the one of the best executed uh, sort of 19th century buildings yeah. in the game. Um, you know, but it, oh yeah, that looks normal. Wow, it looks yeah. they are capable of making a normal building that looks like this. And then the last signature building on this is see, see the thing the, is the what front of it. What this one Sorry, looks like to me is you know it's supposed to be okay the marvelous marble it's a visually striking old building with marble decorations but they describe it as but this. Honestly, what this looks like to me is like an old residential hotel or something like that. Like it does look yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, it, it 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 looks it. This is th this was supposed to be like. Uh, you well, know, look, it's it's you bed, could, bed you bug could get hostel a, right now. Yeah, it's still that. Sure enough, yeah, bed bug hostel. I mean, that would be accurate. Well, that is not what I would be calling my hostel. I was about to say, yeah, I would, uh, I would probably, um, I would probably burn that down if I saw that. Um, Call the health department. <laughs> Statler What's Tower that? is that? Because the one on the right, the farthest right one, the capacitor building, yeah, is a baffling invented tower behind the Apple Store on Seventy Second and Broadway <coughs> by Lincoln Square, to oh, the point wow. where it's so clearly the Apple Store, it still has the non-square cut because that's where yeah. Broadway goes. Yeah. That so is the, the Apple of it Store. Square. Yeah. But then they have this baffling building behind it with no conceivable floor plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't understand like what's going on in these uh, with these windows. Um, everyone must live in apartments that are like five feet tall. Twisties. Yeah. yeah. Or like two hundred feet tall. Yeah, some kind of just nightmarish. Um, you know, like like a bathroom in a fever dream. That's what you live in here. Uh, <laughs> it's very so I'm trying to figure out since the two buildings in that are Lincoln Center and the Apple Store like three blocks from Lincoln Center surely that middle building is also from the Upper West Side right there right surely <coughs> I don't know what it is yeah, I haven't been able to find it what surely they just Google Earthed those like go. few blocks. There's there yeah, go. the Watanabe Tower. The vape. It's the vape. <laughs> the vape. <laughs> <laughs> they painted it black, which I feel like is they really did. appropriate. That's pretty funny, yeah. They did. They filled in they filled in all the mechanical voids and they painted black. I believe it has a helicopter pad at the very oh, top yep. too. Yeah, like sure enough. Deep inside the uh yeah. Oh that will that. that would absolutely 
kill anyone who tried to use it. Yeah. Can you imagine like the air currents and things inside that big bucket on top of the building? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would just it would just shove the helicopter back up. <coughs> but yeah. Weird ugly building. Also, that's the tallest building in the game by a huge margin. Nothing else is even remotely that tall. Yeah, this guy. That's weird. I feel like that's double height of something on like Wilshire. This this has a, it has a carbuncle on top. Uh... That is what the fuck is that? <laughs> it also has two um, Hudson like Lincoln Tunnel ventilation buildings. Oh on yeah, the it's, bottom. The, it's the building oh, for Men in Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got that classic dick and balls profile. <laughs> the transept is the b balls of the church. Yes. Think about it. That is true. That is a good point. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I want to say somebody found that one. It's in New York. It's got some baffling upper level pools, though. This one, well, you know, the pool. The hot tubs Upper once level again. Above ground. The yeah. hot tub once again has the classic dick and balls profile. Um, <laughs> that that is yeah. Very yeah. Dick and balls. This is this is otherwise seems like a pretty normal building. Yeah, I want to say that's. I want to say I found that one somewhere in like East Midtown. It's an office building in real life, I think. With balconies. Maybe not. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? We got a bunch of signature officers yeah. all over here. This is... That's fine. That's, That's a normal fine. building. Some, some New York... Normal-ish. ...wedding cake. Something's off about the window frames. Weird when you get... Yeah, weird when you get in close. It's oh, like, no, because it, it suddenly transitions from brick fascia to, uh... Yeah, to it shouldn't be brick. To, the then it goes... Be... Then it suddenly goes so to sort weird. of... You know, 60s metal panel. Uh, yeah, like yeah. single that, paint. Is that sixties metal panel like wrap around the corner, or does it have a yes, so. the corner? Like, yeah, yeah, it wraps around the corner. That's weird. Yeah, the corner problem is not solved there. No, no. which is weird because they could look at any sixties building like that and find exactly and how, how that corner that building problem. is yeah, solved. Like, uh, like we were gonna do the McGraw Hill building and then just didn't do that. <laughs> and then stop. Yeah, big setback. Real big setback too. Exactly. On all sides. Yeah. Dude, yeah, this, like those four parking spaces are really, <laughs> really good. Like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we really needed those four parking spaces. We shaved those four off parking spot and half a driving lane. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, the, it's... the hundred point turn it would take if two cars are parked either side of you. This this building costs an extra. This building costs an extra fifty million dollars so we could put these two dumpsters in back. <laughs> there are definitely enough dumpsters to take yeah. care of the whole building too. Yeah. Oh. Anyone else hearing a bit of an echo? I just yeah, that's my fault. My AirPods died. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, no. I probably have to hop off soon, though, because I have to take my dog out. Yeah, we can probably wrap this up. i just trying to make sure we didn't miss anything too egregious. Uh, I think those are the, some of the most, most interesting ones. Hmm, yeah. So we got some of the, the European buildings. Uh, what is this? That's just a restaurant. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I hope that's like one of the the like artists' like favorite restaurants or something like that. That would yeah. be cute. This is. Hmm. This is. This is. The muscle car garage. <laughs> yeah. So that I don't know why this is in European signature buildings because that you unlock if you buy the San Francisco pack. That's the one building the San Francisco pack comes with, by the way. Huh. It's European. No yeah. more European place than San Francisco. It's buried yes. in there. Well, also, like, why didn't... If you did a San Francisco paid content pack, why does it not have, like, Victorian houses or the Ferry yeah. Building or the Coit Tower or cable cars? Or It has the Golden Gate Bridge, a San Francisco map that somehow... And this is weird because I couldn't find one when I looked very hard for one. A pretty accurate height map of pre-colonial San Francisco with no landfill. Um, <laughs> and the Muscle Car Garage. And that's the whole pack. Well, it also has the Golden Gate Bridge, right? Oh, did I forget to say? Yeah, but it only has this the uh, main span. It doesn't have any of the approach stuff. You just have to use your normal-ass highway. This is from the 90s. 
or you oh, know where yeah. you know where this could be built is like um you know Upper like, like uh baku uh you know how they're yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah or like uh yeah. north macedonia or somewhere like that they they love this shit um <laughs> And that's like, I, I don't know what Hall. that, yeah. Sort of. They've got the all odd... the signature buildings just feel so much more real. Like, they've all got to be real. <laughs> this is, it looks like it's got the same facade from like the Aerosarin and uh, Ford Company campus. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it just changed colors on us. It doesn't look like that anymore. Yeah, now it looks yeah. more like it's... Who moved into this big building? We're going to see yeah. if this one's like a hostel or something like that. Uh, this is oil and gear garage that sells vehicles. What? Okay, okay it right. could be a car dealership. Car dealership. Yeah. I mean, the real thing, it's called like the auto... It is auto called the auto center, center. yeah. Auto center, yeah. So that's interesting. Maybe these things can... <laughs> filter what they're supposed to put in which means maybe that's why the marvelous marble hostel looking building or residential hotel became a yeah. hostel and i think our last one that we got i ah, will okay this is something avant-garde this one apparently just murders frame rates by the way yeah well i got a big machine that's true Whoa, sick that looks like one of those croatian resorts from yugoslavia yeah it actually looks pretty cool yeah I was going to say, like, Baku. But, yeah. No, they don't have good taste in Baku. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, it's too restrained. Uh, tiny row house. Why doesn't That's that just cute. grow? What yeah. the hell's the problem with this? Just make that one of the buildings that can grow. I don't understand. That one's cute. Mm -hmm. We got this thing. Fine. Oh yeah, what is that? The walkie-talkie? No, it's no. The, uh... It looks like the, God, the my... it looks like the Nordstrom so Tower in uh, New York, but they made it fatter. It does look like that. Yeah. Short, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Aqua oh, Tower. Yeah. Isn't this something like this in Chicago? Yeah, Aqua Tower yeah. by ah, Jimmy okay, Game. Yeah. My frame rate is yeah. like so like. The buffering I'm on the stream for my because my internet yeah. is so yeah. slow is just like I can't see it until it's like already yeah, like I'm, you're already talking. Oh about god, it. I'm 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 like the the only person who seems to be able to play this game with any good frame rate. Uh, the irony, it's because of my superior computer skills, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this thing is this one is weird. It's mostly parking. Probably the only one of these things that has no like approximately yes. appropriately sized yeah. parking lot considering but, it's like a EV parking yeah, I got the EV green, parking. You know? Oh, what I think They're is funny. They're big into EVs in this game. We talked about we talked about the ADA accessibility earlier. I need to show you the the upgrade system for the train station. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a funny one. And then maybe we should wind down. I'm getting tired. I'm kind of sick today. Otherwise, you know, I well, it's damn near 11 I, yeah, for you. This is true, oh. yeah. All right, I haven't even checked right. the Phil's game. All right, so, so that's the have, smallest train station you can the build small, there. With six tracks, <clears throat> three of which platform, yeah. and a lot of parking. Yeah, a lot of parking. But yeah, this is a small train. There's only one train station. It is this one. It's very, very large. Um, you know, a, a six track train station. But not three ADA parking spots, right? But when we upgrade it, um, start with the subway station. We're down to one ADA spot. Then we add services like a restaurant. Now we're down to zero ADA spots. Um, there's some of the others, or there was. Or... No, those are for motorcycles. All right. Motorcycle <laughs> spots. So, those ADA spots, by the way, were about as far from the main entrance as you can possibly get. Yeah. It's weird. Don't be disabled in City and Skylines, then, too. Here, put that extra train platform in as well. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they fix this. One of the platforms is still fenced off. Like, the pro the fence doesn't go away. Or did oh, they yeah. fix that? No, no, there's straight up a, a hole. There's 
there's rumble strips and everything next to the fence there. Pretty good. <laughs> No, it's it's on the left, on the left of that oh. platform. I think there's a fence between the train track and the actual platform. Oh, where did that? Go? That seems to have been fixed. Oh, gotten fixed. Okay. Well, pretend I didn't say that. Yeah. If that... I know that was in a build that I was allowed to make public. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. But they're fixing bugs, right? I mean, they are still here. fixing bugs. I mean, you know, this is big, stupid. Would you call this a triple A game? I don't know. Double A. This is like prime double A game. Prime double A game. I mean, there's a whole bunch of hype around this, and you know, this is the product we have. Um, all this, you know, it's it's. I, I guess you know, a lot of people finishing up these streams, like, would you buy it? Would you not buy it? And it's like, well, it's gonna be the city simulator that we have. You know, <laughs> you may as well. Um, yeah. You know, and and there's gonna be. Once once we get modding, I uh, all these problems are going to be trivial. Oh, here's another house, like a That's house, nice. house type of house, um, with a, a little. What is happening with that wraparound porch the, the that porch, doesn't support the, the upper the, floor? And the porch goes that over the garage. Weird. What is going yeah. on with those dormers? <coughs> That's weird. That is very yeah. It is a little weird. It's um, the more you look at it, the weirder it gets. Yeah, and then you have these. This just looks like a Darth Vader house. Um, I think that's when the whole yeah. neighborhood is Darth Vader houses. Yeah. These are, oh, and that's the that's max level stuff. So this is oh, as nice yeah. as this it is. Can. This is the nice. These are the quote unquote nice houses. Yeah. 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 Which pretty much just means it's been there for a long time. The same people have moved in. I was about the way to the say, leveling uh, system works is if the same people live there and they save up enough money, they will spend some of it to upgrade their house to a higher level house. And what that means, we don't know. Yeah, that, that is one, one thing that simulates very well in this game is that the landlord is purely parasitic. Um, you know, because you will have houses complaining about high rent, like here. And it's yeah, like, it also seems like nobody owns. Everybody just rents. Everyone rents. But if they if they if you make enough money, you improve the house that you're renting, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I am pretty tired. Um, yeah. So I think maybe I'm we should we should wrap the, wrap this up here. Um, you know, so that that was a review of some of the buildings in City Skylines too, uh, with. An actual architecture critic, Kate Wagner, and thank Jay, you. who's here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, th thanks for coming on, Kate. This is a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. Uh, sorry my AirPods died and my frame rate is so bad that I'm a little late to guessing yeah. what buildings are which. Well. But always a pleasure. Yeah, this is very good. Um, crap, how do I end the stream? Should be a big button that says end stream. I always forget about this. Um, well, I guess uh, to all you out there in YouTube, the land. Uh, bye, everyone. Good we'll night. See ya. We'll see if uh, see ya. we'll see if the folks at Colossal Order hate us now for yelling at their buildings for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. All right. There'll all be right. better ones at some point. Yes. All right.